This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. This episode is brought to you by Hello Fresh. Why, Hello Fresh. Yeah, Hello Fresh. How are you doing? Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James. Also known as Mr. Sunday, I guess, this name that I've saddled myself with. With me as always is my co It's too late to get my real name on Twitter as well. You know what I mean? It's done. Oh, absolutely. That Locked is very in. true, isn't it? Yeah, with yeah. me as always is my co-host, Dick Mason. You can't even get underscore. Nah, you can't even all the get numbers are taken. Three underscores at the end? Yeah, 69 is probably taken. <laughs> 69, 420 is definitely taken. <laughs> uh, it's great to be here. Uh, John David Washington is Denzel Washington's son. Yes. I why, thought I was going to get you with that why did today. You, oh, well, funny because we'd have a video coming up on that because I saw somebody mention that in the Great Mates group yeah, yeah, and yeah. I actually commented that was like, what the fuck? But of course he is. Like he sounds like exactly like yeah, him. But he has a beard. He's got a beard. He that's what drew me. To tri- that's how it tricks you, you know? Do you think that's how he gets auditions? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. He gets a beard and then he goes, it's a fake beard. He takes up his beard. They're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God maybe. Uh, because last week, of course, we talked about uh, the actor Jack Quaid, yeah. who we recently uh, learned is the, the son of. Who uh, I felt betrayed by. But yeah. you know what? He's very nice. Well, that's the thing. He <laughs> seems like a good guy. He seems good and he's. I like him in the shows. And again, I watch Lower Decks, the, the Star Trek yeah, yeah. Uh, series. What do you think? It's, it's good. We'll, we'll maybe talk about it later. Yeah. Uh, but it's just it's just a, a moment, and people have. Uh, of course, he's charismatic. He's Meg Ryan's son. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> but a lot of people are like, how could you not know he's a, a, a great son? But I'm like, well, I mean, they don't look exactly the same. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He's taller. And the, but they're like, oh, it's Quaid is a, not a very common name. But I mean, like Glover isn't a particularly common name, but Danny Glover and Donald Glover aren't related. That's so. what? Yeah, that's no, I didn't right. know that. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, there you go. What a world. Well, anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Show, it's great everybody. to be here. It is great to be here. Uh, it's, we're coming we've got out like of, an ad coming up. We're excited for that. It's, it's mate. It's, yeah. it's so good. It's like a it's like a breath of fresh air, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mason, though, this is a seg- segment of the show. It's a new segment. It's called Delays, but don't dismays because I've got some <laughs> more movie d- delays. Did you come up with that on top of your head? Have I've you written, written it down d- here. You've written delays, but not dismays. I like it. Yeah, I actually wrote dismay, but I think it should be delays and dismays. I think it flows better. Yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because look, I want to. But I want to do this in a positive way. Do you delays know I mean? and partays. That's very good. Right. That's very, but don't have a parte, obviously. Yeah, no, don't do that. No, no, die, no. You'll no. all die. Zoom, maybe. zoom party. Have a zoom kill somebody, party. yeah. Uh, Fantastic Four, no. Uh, Fast and Furious, nine. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. I nearly said Fantastic Beasts as well, mm. but I corrected to a different thing. Uh, it's moving uh, one month to mm. May of uh, to, uh, May 28th of 2021. Uh-huh. And also, uh, and it, this delays but don't dismays, uh, would you prefer some more time to die, Mason? Oh, <laughs> j- could you... Could we please just be allowed to die at this point? Well, Bond is, of course, I'm trying to die over here. I'm trying to find some time to die over here. God. So uh, the reason that uh, fucking Fast and Furious has moved, it seems, is because no time to die. Oh, and they can't compete. No, it's been moved to April 2nd. Are they both owned by the same? I don't believe so. I think one's Universal and one's... Sony or oh, yeah, 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 maybe? No, you're right. You're Can't absolutely remember. right, yeah. They'll switch and buy each other. I don't know. That's <laughs> true. At this point, it? we don't know. Well, that's, that was my <laughs> assumption there. I'm like, well, what if does Warner Brothers own or more? Yeah. What's going on there? But, yeah, they're moving. They're moving. Is, is, is Denzel Washington Paramount's son? Is that, is that right? <laughs> that's exactly right, yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were gearing up for Bond. They're releasing the, yeah. the film clip. They, they, there's a podcast starting up. Mm. It's six episodes, so that's not going to go. Is that all the way to? Who's into, on the podcast? Who's hosting the podcast? I think it's like. Is it us? They talk to like people involved. No, it's definitely not us. People involved in it and whatever. But we're involved in it. We're not involved in it, Mason. No, we'll buy a ticket. We'll, in that sense, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a smart move fiscally, though, mm. because Tenet was going to save cinema. But instead of yeah. saving cinema, cinema is dying. <laughs> And uh, and the only and the last thing that was in cinema was Tenet. So yes. in a way, it's Tenet's fault. It is Tenet's fault. That's how the people are going to see it anyway. And New Mutants, maybe. Do you think that once they've done the six episodes, yeah, people will be champing at the bit for more talking about Bond content, and no. we could slip in? Oh, then yeah, that's our opportunity. That, I think so as well. Because yeah, the yeah. host will go on to do a different thing. Yes, <laughs> probably Josh Gad. He's probably doing some amazing Zoom interviews. Yeah, and probably, maybe he'll yeah. get all the Bonds together on a Zoom interviews, and they're all muted and. Or shouting, or <laughs> it's, just, it's not working. Obviously, the Roger Moore one is just his tombstone. RIP, obviously. But you know, it, it, let's see it. Let's yeah. see if Connery can operate Zoom. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's <laughs> Sean. Sean, your your mic's muted. Sean, 
John, your face in the wall. Sean. Sean. Ah, uh, he's gone. <laughs> Has he dead? Maybe. I mean, the, the, the visual, the video disappeared. So yeah, who knows? well, that's it. So I'm not surprised and I'm not really disappointed because delays but don't dismays, but also it's been, this is the trend, isn't it? It really is, yeah. You know, so uh, I think the next big release is maybe Wonder Woman or Dune. Mm. I, don't, I don't really know at this point. I've kind of lost track. But uh, yeah, but it, off the back of that, just anything, that, just whenever yeah. there's whenever there's a release of anything, just uh, jump I do have some joy, good news for some stuff coming to streaming, which we will talk about. But before that, uh, cinemas be closing. I've written here. Yeah, so uh, what are, what well, are, well, off. Here's here's the thing. So the, these things were combined. You can dismaze on this part, by the way. Yeah, you can dismaze. Obviously, yeah. Uh, these things have been combined, but I'm not sure if they are related. But sure. uh, apparently, Cineworld, which is a big cinema chain, it's got 128 cinemas in the UK and Ireland. I think it might have been where I saw the movie Wanted in 2008 oh. when I was in the UK. Curving those bullets. Yeah, that's right. And maybe The Dark Knight also. Anyway, oh. sorry, continue. Worshipping the the big, what is it, ben? a quilt or something? <laughs> there's a quilt in that movie? Oh, what yeah, there's a, the loom that the tells loom. you who to kill. The loom that tells you who to kill, right? <laughs> Trust in the loom that tells you who to kill. Oh, that somebody they've corrupted the loom. <laughs> really, why would they? Someone would have to be peddling that loom. It's not yeah, a magic yeah. loom, is it? Oh, no, but it was, wasn't it? It was a magic loom, yes. <laughs> Where did they even get that from? I don't know. It's not in the comic. It's not in the, yeah, yeah. But they were like, <laughs> I think they were probably like, okay, well, what we can do is we can either, like, um, we could make costuming and CGI for, like, a hundred, like, colourful comic book style yes. villains but I but I found this old loom yeah. in, like, a in like a props box back yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. And if we, like... Get a real close-up shot of it, it'll look really big. And people will be like, is this like Minority Report? And we'll just say, yeah, <laughs> it is like that it's other just, movie. It's <laughs> just like that. Anyway, uh, Cineworld, uh, they're going to have to shut down all 128 of their cinemas. And it says here, this is from the Daily Mail. So Jesus, yeah, that's, It says yeah. one day after new James Bond film was postponed until 2021. So yeah. a lot of people have taken this and run with it and gone, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. Which but it I mean, may be, but this was pretty uh, writing Yeah, the wall, I mean, man. who there, is, this, is there some like hair trigger at the Cineworld yeah. like business centre who's just like, well, that's it, we're shutting it down. Like I think this is probably on the cards for, yeah. for quite some time. Absolutely. So, so UK seems like they're going to be going into an, into a pretty severe lockdown potentially. Yeah. And then there'll be the pushback and then like Musk, Musk are actually killing you actually and protests <laughs> and counter-protests and, you know, it should be really good. It's good, good fun just for everyone. Just put a fucking mask on. How about that? Mm-hmm. How about that? How about it, huh? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, so another uh, – speaking of, though, like things closing, Disney are laying off 28,000 people in relation to their parks. Uh, their losses as of June 27th was $4.7 billion in the three months, sorry, uh, leading to June 27th. But the estimated daily loss in revenue for Disney parks is $36 million. Oof. So that's billions. It may 30, be. That's How much bloody, is a bloody, <laughs> bloody, bloody, thirty-six, uh, bloody, uh, plushy, uh, bloody uh, Mickey Mouse. Yes, you know, you know what I mean, because they're very expensive. They're very expensive. That's, that's right. I mean, that's and even if like one million dollars each. That's before you even get a meal. If you, that's I mean, right, some yeah. people bring their own snacks. Obviously, <laughs> that's probably <laughs> the true. way I'd do it. But, yeah. yeah. I had a Mickey Mouse. Oh, when I went to the J- Japanese one, yes, I had a. It was like Mickey Mouse's hand in like a like it was a burger, but the bun was his hand. Oh. I'm like, this is odd. <laughs> this is yes. and not very good. Well, did it feel like it was? It was like, like that soft, um, you know, like, like that a brioche? soft steam. No, that soft steam steamed buns oh, you often get. Yeah, like those. A, I can't remember what they're called. What was in the middle of that bun. I can't remember. A burger? A, maybe. Oh, hello. Yeah. Or was a, it like it was? It was a t- Mickey Mouse turd. Was oh. <laughs> James. Thank you. You've lowered the tone. He's pooped into his hand, Mason. That's what has happened. Now throw it into your mouth. That's, the, that's what it would have said if you could read the if you could read the language. Did it seem as if it were two hands? No, like, it was like folded over, I think, uh, okay, right, memory. Right. Right. But also what I really liked about the Japanese one, aside from all the rides that happened to be closed the day I was there, yes. uh, they don't do it in English. They're just like, fuck you. It's just fucking Japanese. <laughs> yeah. like, just get yeah. used to it. But because Japan is so like... It's just so well planned out. You don't really need to speak English to get around there. Yeah. It's incredible. Mm. When I went to Euro Disneyland, yeah, uh, I got some sort of burger. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I what, remember being was it Eiffel Tower shape. Well, I just all I remember from the trip was that burger was like overwhelmingly mustardy. <laughs> okay, that's all I remember. And also, it was raining. <laughs> And again, like like yours, um, a lot of the stuff was closed. Is that I think standard? We got, I think we got there really early, like yeah. me and my family, expecting it to be packed. And then it just oh. rained and I think the the local crowd were like, why would we go when it's raining? And so we were just like. Do you think that's their opportunity to like 
maybe like clean up and like maintain because there's yeah. like there's barely because it was also raining and quiet when I was there. Uh-huh. So maybe that's their op- I was literally sitting on one of the rides. It was just about to start, and they're like, "Get off!" Do you think the Disney Corporation can manipulate the weather? Oh, and yeah, when maybe. they need to clean, they yeah. just they just make it rain and everybody doesn't show up. Oh, I understand. Yeah, that's probably it. I think so, yeah. If I had to. I mean, that big golf ball, it must do something, right? Weather control. Weather control. Weather control. Uh, so another news, yes. uh, not as bad news, but still bad news. The last Sizzler are closing in Australia. <laughs> right. yep. you, know, you, you wanted to make mention of that. I just wanted to, you know, just, just to focus on this one moment in time, just to make a – yeah. Just to, you know. And both of us, like, well, me particular, go, like, they're still at them. And you're like, yeah, there's still one in Sydney and on the Gold uh, Coast, Coast and whatever. Con, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then yeah. I go, was Barnacle Bill okay? And you're like, pray to the, <laughs> pray to <laughs> Neptune that Barnacle that's, Bill is okay. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Throw a fisherman's basket into the, into the sea for it's Barnacle It's all batter. Bill. You bite into any shape on a fisherman's basket. It's just batter all the way that's through. That's right. Yeah, you yeah. think it's a prawn? It's not. It's or one just of those batter. crab sticks, yeah. the seafood sticks. What, what even is that? Just batter. But anyway. Um, just batter and glue. Everybody everybody, put out your cheesy toast. Oh, uh, yeah. This is life. I you think wouldn't mind. I, somebody I, I know figured out that recipe, and it's something to do with that, you know, that parmesan in a can that's horrible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. something to do with that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they give you that to, to bloody, they fill you up before the. <sighs> anyway, this is that my great comic three, book movie news. I had my you great three birthday love. party there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, Mason, it's trailer's time. Uh, don't dismay. Uh, <laughs> Cobra Kai, have, in their trailer announcement, have been renewed for season four. But also we got a new teaser. This has moved to Netflix recently, so people are discovering it for the first time. Uh, that's right. Maybe you as well, because I think you I remember watched the I first watched one. the first couple of episodes of oh, when it was on YouTube. Yeah. And then I'm like. Really, really, YouTube, really. You didn't want to pay him. No. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I, I have the print. We've talked about this. So, what did you think about the teaser, though? Bearing in mind that you'd have no idea, I guess. I thought you were up yeah, to date, but it I looks guess you're not. to me. No, I'm not up to date at, at this point. But it looks to me there. That's that's his student, right? Yes. And they had. They, it seems like they've had a spoiler. Spoilers for a season I haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> and presumably, people are or other other people haven't seen. But he's, he seems to have. There's there's been a betrayal. Yes. Of some sort. One of them has betrayed the other one. I don't know. Sure. Which resulted in some sort of shopping mall brawl. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 he's he's grievously injured. Yes, his that's student, right. right? And are you because uh, that's, that's his Daniel. That's his Daniel. That's right. But Daniel has his own Daniel. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And Daniel's Daniel is <laughs> the blonde. Uh, what's his name? W- William Zabka's yes. son. Ah. Not in real life, but in the show. Right. It's a real. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossing yeah. of worlds. It's a real or whatever Romeo and Juliet. Hey, this is situation. a motion news episode, but there's some other stuff in here as well. I should point out some yeah. delightful banter. Delightful one would banter, hope. obviously. Letters. Uh, we're we're talking some more trailers. And I've just got a list of here. Like you know, we've got some Spider Man news. I normally do this up top. I had a I had a thing here. I'm doing um, hate mail as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm yeah, slipping some hate squeeze mail. That in there. Yeah. I had here, like I've got a couple of pages of like uh I was gonna quiz you on which bond you are. Oh yeah. Like sci fi.com because we had that we have some the briefest of bond news. We could do that. Now there's two options here. Yeah. Right. There's a sci fi.com quiz, yeah, which is eight questions. Yep. Which I went through myself earlier and I was Roger Moore, obviously. Of course. Because you know I'm not Daniel Craig, but I've got this. I've got a. I've got an. I've got a. I've got a tilted eyebrow. eyebrow that doesn't quit. Yeah. Uh, or there's a how stuff works oh. on quiz, which is thirty questions. It's too many questions. <laughs> too many mate. questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. okay. Do you reckon, I was. I was contemplating doing one of them for a video, but I don't know whether that would translate as well. Well, I had to go through a video. bunch. There's yeah. also the, the standard one is the BuzzFeed quiz, sure, yeah. but it's almost all. It's almost exclusively visual questions. Mm. It's like which. Which martini would you choose? And then it's just like six. They don't even di- give you like what's in them? No, nope, I would have had to describe six martinis. Have you ever had a you. standard martini? That's a dog shit drink, I man. Don't mind them. I don't mind no, like them. Like a bog standard one that like oh. they make in like the movie. It's no. just like all clear alcohol and, and not olive. It's like it's not good. Have you ever had one? Yes. Yeah. You like them? Yeah. I don't know. I just think there's better drinks and worse drinks. That's that's where we're at though, isn't that's it? That's true, yeah. Here's something interesting, though. Do you want me to do the Bond yeah, quiz? Yeah, let's do the, the Bond eight, quiz. The, the eight, this, this, this is sci-fi.com's eight-question Bond quiz. All right. Sci-fi, you're reaching a bit, aren't you? This is, was the best one. Yeah, I know. I just mean in terms of like oh, sci-fi. Oh, they really are sci-fi. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, that, that Invis- torture machine that takes away your memories. That, and the invisible car. <laughs> and the invisible car. still around. Yeah, yeah, Fair yeah. Yep, go on. What okay, we here we go. Does a rope hitting you in the nuts, is that, a, is that sci-fi? <sighs> I mean, where are you? Are you in a dingy underground dungeon, or are you in outer space in the future? I can't remember what happened in the movie. Um, does the does the does the knotted rope uh, that is hitting you in the nuts? Does it go meep more meep? Because <laughs> then it might be sci fi. <laughs> uh, okay, <clears throat> James. Question one: You're on assignment, and Q welcomes you into his lair of gadgets. Which Q? 
Uh, it's or that ben- would give away the... Not necessarily, okay. but it's the Ben Wishaw queue. The, the not, okay, gotcha, yeah. Okay, which, which layer of gadgets, which gadgets do you pick? Okay. One, cyanide cigarette. Ooh, like Two, that. fake Fabergé egg. Okay, question with the cigarette. Yes. Do I smoke it and die or do I give it to somebody it's else? It's your call, man. Okay, what's the Fabergé egg do? Oh, I think it had a, like a radio transmitter in it. Fuck that, no. All right, cut. I'm no. bringing my phone. What's Dentonite next? Dentonite toothpaste. Uh, explosives? Yeah. Okay, what else? Uh, ring agitator. It's that one you put it right on glass. glass. Yeah, oh, yeah. I like that. I'm taking okay. that one. That's uh, a Brosnan one, isn't it? Oh, what have I done? Uh, but uh, there's one more option, a Seamaster okay. exploding watch. Branded content. Yeah, it is, but you're only getting one out of that, aren't you? That That's ring, true, yeah. I'm just shattering glass yeah. all day, mate. <laughs> but you are. You would go around to all the like all the neighbours you don't like. Yeah, I'd go to the local schools. I'd just yeah, do yeah. everything. I'd do the, I'd do the neighbourhood. Yeah, and the police would be come around and you'd be like, what, I don't own a hammer. How could I? And you look at my head and it's just, <laughs> it's just, got, it's just vibrating. It's horribly <laughs> arthritic. <laughs> It's okay. whittled down to okay. the bone. Ring agitator. There we go. Yeah. All right. Throw them out. I love also, that I wonder if I wonder if any of these are like like I I chose like plaid suit and a mojito or whatever, and I'm like, of course I'm Roger Moore. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, question two: You sidle up to the bar, straighten the lapel on your suit, and order a. Doesn't sound like made a guy. No, it doesn't. Of course, you. you um, I stumbled up to the. You bar. You stumble up to the bar and you adjust your your wife beater singlet. It's the third bar that I've tried to get in so far. That's right. It's too late. I shouldn't be there. You are. You, Technically, you're wearing nice shoes, but technically, you're only wearing one shoe. Yeah, so it's, but it's a nice shoe because <laughs> I did a shoey out of the other one. <laughs> okay, okay. Here are your options. The shoey is where you pour a drink into it and you drink from the which I've tech, which I let's just say technically I've never done. I have never done that. <laughs> okay, Sorry, right. go on. Uh, a friend of mine used to do that. Like he he cleaned up his act and uh, like it was symbolic. He threw away his shoey shoes. Oh my goodness! Right? Pretty good, right? Okay, here are your options. Uh, a Sazerac. Sazerac's like a like a cognac and absinthe fancy. I'm not familiar with that. Okay, okay right. Yeah. Uh, champagne. I don't mind a champagne. Vespa Martini. Okay, I know your yeah, thoughts yeah. on Vespa. Look, Beer. It's a Heineken because branded a, content. No, fuck. No, that's a Brosnan. Uh, mojito. I'd do a mojito, mate. All right, mojito. Straight up. All right. I like a fruit. What cocktail. mojito, please, barkeep? Yeah. Okay. Pour it into my other shoe. <laughs> uh you have a license to kill, but you need to dress to impress. What kind of a suit are you wearing? Oh, hello. Tuxedo? Yep. Three-piece grey suit? Mm. A bathing suit to show off your six-pack? <laughs> Plaid suit? White dinner jacket? Well, I do like that white dinner jacket. Okay, let's go white yeah. dinner jacket. Mm. Okay, but many Bonds have had the white dinner jacket. Well, that's jacket, right, so yeah. So, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. But I've always liked that look. Okay. Uh, by some crazy stroke of luck and fortune... M gives you the choice of where you want to go on your next assignment. You choose Jamaica, mm-hmm. Portugal, mm-hmm. Egypt, mm-hmm. Russia, Italy. I've never been to Portugal. All right. uh, but I've never been to Russia either. Oh. But I feel like I'd probably get stabbed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, even yeah. as James Bond, well, they'd probably stab me more. <laughs> they absolutely would. They'd stab you at the airport as you came in. <laughs> You, they, they'd stab you they'd on stab the plane. Me. They'd stab me as I'm, going, as I'm coming and going. That's right. <laughs> Uh, that's how they you stab check you. your bag and they, they stab, stab you. They stab your passport and they stab you <laughs> through the passport. Okay, Portugal. All right. Okay, I hope yeah. this is fun for the listeners. I've just heard Egypt though, like it's not what you think. Like you go to the pyramids and it's just fucking chaos and the traffic's horrible. Right, right. You know what I mean? I want kind of, you know, I want to, I want to experience but something. But maybe you want that and you, maybe you want to be in some sort of Visa card ad. I don't want you that. You get a little tuk-tuk I don't style want that. driver and he's like, whoa, and he gets you into a world of... Fun action adventure. And then I get stabbed. Then you get stabbed. <laughs> After picking up your gadgets from Q, you're ready to save and seduce the world in what kind of car? You know I am. Aston Martin DB5, that's the classic Sean Connery. Yep. Lotus Esprit, that's the one that turns into a submarine. I do like that one, even though it's really uh, dumb. The Aston Martin V8, which is the one from... Um, Thank you for uh, pointing these out because you know I know nothing about cars. I was going to say that the that. Aston Martin V8 is the one from The Living Daylights. It's got oh. skis and it's got the lasers that come out of the wheels Ooh. and it's got a missile launcher. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, yep, all right. Uh, the BMW Z3, which that's is the, the 95 one? The one from GoldenEye that yeah. doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything, yeah. But it's, I mean, could, potentially it's full of I always thought that was a goofy looking car. Range Rover SVR. It's a Range Rover. Yeah, no thanks. All right. It's a fucking Range Rover. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, the ski one. The one with the skis, man. All right, okay. I hope I'm not leading you. Get some 80 class- 80, 80s classics yeah, yeah, going yeah. in there. Okay. It's time to put your impeccable marksmanship to the test. You unholster your uh, Beretta. F- oh, these are going to be a bit. Okay, Beretta 4118. Is that the original, original no, gun? No, it's like uh, like a modern day-ish kind of, uh, okay, kind right, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Walther PPK. That's the little, the teeny, teeny weeny little yeah, one. Yeah, that's his trademark. Colt 45, big old, big old revolver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Walther P99, that's a pretty modern one. That's an, an, an update. Uh, fist. Fist? Fist all the way, mate. Okay, all right. I know, yeah. look, I'm not a huge gun guy, but right, like, right. 
Like I'll probably lose, but fists, yeah, mate. Give it a whirl. I'm Australian. Right. We're doing yeah, fists. Yeah. Okay. All <laughs> right. I haven't been to fights in school, but that's fists. true. <laughs> okay. Uh, quick, you've got one chance to save yourself from a villainous mastermind. You challenge him in a contest of mm. one baccarat. The yeah, I know baccarat. Okay, right. baccarat. But do you know how to play it? Nobody does. No, not that's really. a surprise. Uh, identifying rare orchids. <laughs> that's a fucking. Yeah. <laughs> that's a what's it, yeah, yeah. That's a Roger Moore one. Uh, brooding. Oh. Chest hair, parkour. <laughs> it's chest hair, it isn't is, it? Yeah. If I had to yeah. pick one, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, I'd love to say parkour, but yeah, but it's chest hair. That's that's death by parkour. Yeah, essentially. absolutely, right. it is. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Fin- even Bond himself. Okay. Isn't final that question. Uh, uh, you're a discerning gentleman of taste. You're not just going to fall for any old floozy. She's got to be a psychic. <laughs> it's not a prerequisite for me. You okay, know what I mean? It's right. not really yeah, like yeah, someone yeah, I look yeah. for. Marriage material. Yeah, okay. A talented musician, mm-hmm. as sweet as Christmas, <laughs> or as damaged as you are, James. If you click that, you're, you're so the So someone Joker. as awful as me. Yeah. <laughs> Joker. You just so I'm, the Joker. I'm Joker from the movie Joker. Yeah, that's right. I will marry to material. Oh, I'm a yeah, man. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, Thank here you. we go. Okay, James, you are Roger Moore. Yes. I, think this, I, think this is, I think this is rigged. <laughs> We're all Roger Moore. I don't feel like I did too many Roger Moore uh, no, scans right? there, did I? No, that's that's yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's like numerical values, and then you fall within a. Yeah, I f- I find often with these quizzes, I reckon there's one that's absolutely loaded. Yeah, right. Like okay, the, like it's worth ten points. You know what I mean? I'm happy with that, but yeah, th- I don't think there's one that you would have said where I would have been disappointed though. That's I think true. they've all got their charms in their own way. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. And they're all awful. And you're wearing that that frilly shirt as well. I'm wearing so that frilly shirt, mate. I'm having a run at it. Well, that's very exciting. Isn't it, it feels though? good. Maybe we'll make this into a video at some point. <laughs> okay. But when's the Bond movie coming out? Never. Yeah, so I guess we're not. <laughs> and that's the world we live in. Uh, more trailers, Mason? Yes, please. Did you watch the trailer for The Weeches? I did watch the trailer for The Weeches. Uh, I've never seen the original movie, but I loved the book as a kid. I re- uh-huh. reread it. I have it. Still, I've still got my same copy. I read it multiple times. It's that... It's that blend of like spooky and fun and yeah, scary yeah. and cool. We're and in the spooky season right now, James. It's the, we're in the spooky season. We're going to have to do a Halloween episode, obviously, that's coming up. But uh, where are you on The Witches? What, did you, what about your experience? Did you watch the Rowan Atkinson movie? I don't think I did. Is that Was that Angelica Houston? Is I believe it that? was, yes. I don't think I've seen it, no. Yeah. no. So I don't have any – there's no nostalgia value here, but maybe that's – are people up in arms about this? Are they like, how so. dare? But they've, you know, they've, they've, it's a good cast. I think they've it's got, a great choice yeah, for yeah. – um, the Waleed Witch and the rest of the people. That's it? right. I mean, they put in a girl mouse, and there's not a girl mouse in the book. <laughs> okay, so. right. And you know, how do you I feel think. about? Well, if, if if you're a big fan of this, how do you feel about Stanley Tucci as the, uh, as the uh, big as big the hotel ups, manager? Mate, big it was yeah, originally Rowan Atkinson, I believe. Mm-hmm. This is like that's an excellent choice. Yeah, mm-hmm. all around. They've also moved it to to the US, obviously as well, because uh-huh. I think the original book is in set in the UK, as far as I know. Uh, if you remember from the original book. But not the movie, because I think I have seen the end. The book he stays as a mouse. The oh, boy. Okay. Have, you have you read the book? No, 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 no. Yeah. I've only of the of the Roald Dahl stuff I've read. The BFG. Yep. I've read I don't uh, like his speech patterns in that. Octavia okay. Spencer as well. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. What a great choice. A lot of, a lot of Oscar winners. Yeah. Or, hey, Chris Rock is narrating. I wonder whether he's the little boy grown up. I think he is, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. sorry, go on. Or the little boy grown up and he's a, an old rat. And he's an old rat, exactly. <laughs> because in the book it also implies that you could, you will live longer. Like ah. you'll live the length of a human life. Do you think that this is going to be more accurate to the book? I wonder because they've got to do something. If they, anytime they want to like mm. distinguish, uh, you know, a, a remake from a classic, I think they they skew more or less accurate to the book. Yeah, depending on how the original was. You know I think I mean? there's a number of things here. From like what Total I, Recall. Like Total Recall, the mo- the second movie. Yes, there's a number of things here though that are, that are very different. Uh-huh. Um, but. It seems dark enough where they might keep him as a mouse. Yeah. I don't know. Why not, huh? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also gets a little bit of his tail chopped off in the kitchen. Well, that, that's the, like <laughs> as a kid reading this book where you're like, oh, he's still a rat. That's that's. No, I was all right sick. with it. The only thing that kind of did bother me about it was that because he lived with his grandma because his parents were eaten by – no, that's James <laughs> the Giant Peach. James the Giant Peach, I think his parents are eaten by a rhinoceros. A giant peach? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> they were eaten by a hippopotamus or a – Rhino or something. We should do a uh, we should that. do a, a um, an episode on mysterious, inexplicable deaths in children's fiction. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What is it? Is, is it? I think I mentioned this before, but the first Nancy Drew book, one of her friends' car accident. They just killed yeah. in a car accident. One Sorry, of on. one of Nancy Drew's friends' 
parents dies in a boat explosion and it's never what it's never uh it's not even a mystery no it's never it's never brought up again it's just like they were smoking on a boat and the and boat exploded, exploded. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay um so yeah so you read the bfg uh what else james and john james page yep uh charlie and chocolate factory yep. never been a huge fan of that and one. probably the glass i think i read the glass elevator one as well yeah is that what it's called yes glass elevator is that's, not a as tough, good. that's a tough is that a, Was that a cash grab, do you think? I think so. Yeah, he doesn't normally do sequels. Well, Boy and Going Solo, which is yeah, about right. his life. But um, yeah, I, I loved these books as a kid, which is one of my favorite. Like, Great glass elevator, cruise control. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. But uh, and I know he's like, he's, he's probably very racist and all those things. <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, I, I add that caveat. One must, one must look at all the <laughs> authors of the past through the lens of they're probably all racist. Exactly. And every other ist you can think of. That's right. But uh. So, but the thing was interesting about this is a few things. Um, Robert Zemeckis is directing, yeah. and I find his movies hit and miss. But how do you feel about the fact that it's a reimagining by Robert Zemeckis? Good, I okay. think good. It's a, you, don't, you're not, you don't hate the word reimagining? No, nah, whatever, man. Okay. Whatever. It's a, you know, it's a different take. And the other thing is, it's going to HBO Max this month, twenty oh, yeah. second of October. So that's that's cool. It's, so it's nice to be getting some stuff. Yes, you know what I mean. This would have been a pretty big cinematic release. Yeah. So it's it's obviously in that budget range where they think they can make it back. So like a Bond movie, I kind of well not at this point at least I can't imagine would go to a streaming service. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Something like this, you know, makes sense to me. But uh, I'm yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to this genuinely. There you go. And because I'm always on the lookout for hot new content, you know that Mason. Absolutely, you know that's, that about me. That's your defining characteristic. Yeah. Another thing. Uh, speaking of movies coming to um to to your home. Oh, my God. Uh, deadline report. Oh, I've got to clean up the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh movies in my home. <laughs> <laughs> deadline are reporting that Greenland is coming to VOD in the fourth quarter. What's that? Jerry Butler, the world is exploding or it's spinning too fast. Oh, that's right. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's happening in that one? I don't remember. You know, it starts and, like, the birds are flying in the wrong direction or yeah, something. Yeah, They're yeah. like, why are the birds flying in the wrong and direction? And, like, and, and, and like the... The, the, the suits are all like, don't even worry about it. This is completely normal. That's and regular Jerry Butler's bird like, Yeah, and Jerry well, Butler's I'm like. I'm actually a scientist. I was a scientist. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I, I quit I, for my son because my wife died or something. That's right. I'm too handsome. <laughs> I, got, I got fired from science for being too handsome. <laughs> I, but imagine that is a problem in science. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't yeah. it? This Imago's in science is what yes, I'm saying, Mason. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but there are also some handsome people in science. No, because they get fired. No, what I'm saying is that the, even the most handsome scientist is not as handsome as the least handsome regular person. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> we do have, believe it or not, scientists who listen to this. Not which anymore. is great, no, which is crazy to me because we're so dumb. Do you know what I mean? Like oh, I can't yeah, imagine no, like true, yeah. somebody of like of a great intellect listening to this and go, yeah, this is my space. But I don't think we ever really... Like we never make any bold proclamations about science. That's a good point. You know what I mean? We're not doing in-depth analysis of like yeah. the, the the warp technology in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or And we just, like you know, that. things are given. The earth is flat. You know what I mean? For sure, exactly. If, yeah, a, yeah, if yeah. a comet's coming, the birds fly in the wrong direction. We know these That's things exa- about science. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. They fly off the edge of the world. They go underneath it. They hang That's there right. like that. Exactly. Bats. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, that's how they keep safe. Uh, but... This being just a, look at the horizon, man. Just look at the horizon. <laughs> I've watched that folding ideas video you recommended yeah. on in search of a flat earth. Yeah. Great twist. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific stuff. Really enjoy it. It's like an hour and twenty, but it was absolutely a worth captivating it. Captivating yeah. video. People, I, I don't know if I recommend it on the podcast, but if you, you if you don't watch yeah. folding ideas, you'd, you'd on, on YouTube you definitely should. Yeah, fascinating. Great, great, great movie videos, great videos about like movie editing and stuff. Yeah. And and this this flat earth video, which is really good. And the twist in that, I'm like, I should have seen that coming. Right. Yeah, right. It makes so much sense. But no, this is a movie that I was like, I hate end of the world movies, but I'll watch it at home. <laughs> sure, yeah. You better believe it. For thirty five dollars. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Wow. What else am I spending money on? Literally ah, oh, I bought an exercise bike. Oh, there we go. Just right. burn some cows at night, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just get it sure, going. Yeah, yeah. Did you the see Lenny Kravitz? Did you see Lenny Kravitz? This week? I th- just generally. <laughs> you just seen him? I thought you meant like behind me. Did you see Lenny Kravitz? Oh, James, yeah, I sure did see Lenny Kravitz, mate. Let's put you to bed, yeah. It was on Men's Health or GQ. He's like 56 and he's, it talks about his exercise. He looks amazing. He looks yeah, like yeah. he's 30. Yeah. But like he does he does bench press on a curved palm tree. Like he lies on it and does oh, bench wow. press. Because he has yeah. a farm, did you? you know, oh, okay, yeah. I saw like an Architectural Digest video about his farm that he lives and on. And he's mates with Jason Momoa, you know what I mean, who's married uh, Lisa Oh, the uh, Bonet. Bonet, yeah. so, you there know, they're, they're all hanging out together. Hanging out. Yeah, famous family, mate. So He owns a lot of, um, like, Beatles memorabilia and, like, oh, okay. uh, 
Was he going to play Hendrix as well? He Sorry? was going to play Hendrix, or maybe he's oh, still going to play. He's Hendrix. got like a lot of Hendrix. Like he's got like the like the piece of paper that Paul McCartney wrote like Sergeant Pepper's lyrics on and stuff like oh, that. Okay, he's got yeah. all that. Oh, cool, yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, I good like on it. him. Good on, good on him. him being a, a famous musician for decades. That's right. Anyway, I bought an exercise bike uh, because of Lenny Kravitz said something about cardio before bed. I'm oh like, yeah, I right. should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm doing two showers a day. Then I don't know whether I can. <laughs> To reassess my wow, I don't know. If, I don't know if I don't know if um, Lenny Kravitz would approve of that. I mean, that's a lot of water waste. What if, what if I had a bath? A bath in the morning. I left the water. Leave it tepid. Leave it tepid. Yeah, he would appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's what I'm doing then. Okay, but uh, tomorrow it's just you tweeting Lenny Kravitz <laughs> like, oh, "I'm keeping my bath water tepid for you, Lenny." <laughs> Lenny, <laughs> it's a good name to yell in an Australian Great accent. Great name. Yeah. Uh, Cravo. Cravo. We've got two more trailers. Okay, I'm ready. One is a bit of a surprise. Well, sort of. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, Borat 2. Yeah. Which uh, it has a title, which He's... I will read out. Okay. Borat's subsequent movie film, uh, delivery of a prodigious bride, bride to American regime for make benefit one's glorious nation of uh, Kazakhstan. Okay. It seems like, because well, we're wondering how did he pull this off. Yeah. And it seems like that he did a little bit of Borat stuff up top. Uh-huh. And then gets recognised and part, as part of the film, obviously, and then so he can use disguises for the rest. Yeah, of right, the movie. right, right. Uh huh. Yeah. And some people would obviously not know who he is. At this I mean, point, it's been fil- 14, 14 years. 15 years. Yeah. yeah, right. So and uh, so because he was, it's filmed. It seems like it's filmed a lot like that. This is America show. Yeah. Like a series uh-huh. of like, well, they're all series of skits that like with the yeah interviews and yeah. But yeah. this obviously has a through line of. Um, He's got to get his daughter. Daughter to Mike Pence. Yeah, right. Um, Who's the daughter? I don't. Do I, I recognise her or not recognise her? I didn't okay. recognise her. I, I I don't know this for a fact, but it seems like he'd cast an unknown. It yeah, seemed right. like that would be the smart way. But I I did really like that dress um joke with the the plastic bag over the top. Because it's not gross. It's, it's not gross for one, <laughs> but I just think it's like their reaction to that is quite yeah quite funny. And this is very like I mean, there's COVID material in this. This is kind of like yeah. Well, it was filmed like. This year, obviously. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's so Rudy Rudy Giuliani is in it as well, it seems like. And her name um her name is Arena it's, Nowak. It's Ma- Maria Bakalova. What? Oh wait. I have it both I have it here. Okay. Who is uh, this is from Slate? Who is Arena Novak, Borat's co star in the trailer for his new sequel? Yeah, yeah, I'm on that same Is article. Arena Novak actually Maria Bakalova? And if so, who is Maria Bakalova? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Very. I mean, we haven't, we don't have any answers here, but, you know. Are you a Borat fan? Not really, no. I mean, did you see it at the time? I'm, like, I'm a Sasha outrageous. Baron Cohen fan, yeah. I think. Like, I like him in interviews and things. Yeah. I love his. Because uh, he's obviously. Very intelligent, yeah, um, and and balls of steel and for this absolute steel, yeah, for, to keep doing this, yeah. Uh, do you think do, do people once he's filmed a a, a segment, mm. does he then have to go back to those people and say, "Are you willing to be in this movie and sign this release form?" Uh, what I think is happening for like the interviews and stuff, they come at it as in they're a documentary film crew. Then they uh-huh. don't say it's Borat and everything right. is signed up top. Yeah, probably. I believe. But if you're in a public space. They'd have to I, ask you'd him have afterwards. To afterwards, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. Which, I, which I imagine is why a lot of the outside Borat stuff is yeah. him running away from people who recognise Borat. That being said, if it's like a media event, because I know they go to like a convention in this. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's because that's a media space. Right. You wouldn't, like, because obviously with the news, you're not blurring out people in the crowd. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I wonder right, if that's right, a, right, There's right. probably a different set of rules for yeah. that, I'd imagine. But look, something it's coming this month. It's it's coming up before the election. I think it's like October uh-huh. twenty or twenty second or something like that. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it's on and it's going to Amazon. Prime. Amazon. Oh yeah, so Which that's what good. I was going to say. Mm. I like his. Uh, I, I think that. we mentioned on the show, but his uh, when he talks about like, because he had a he had a Queen movie in production for a really long oh, time, did, like the band yeah. Queen, and he talks about how that's a fascinating. They story, they yeah. the, the the various band members of Queen were like. You know, and then and then after Freddie Mercury died because he was going to be Freddie Mercury, yeah. and he's kind of developing the plot and stuff, and they, they were pitching him this idea. They're like, and of course, after Freddie Mercury dies, like midway through, and yeah. that's the how the rest of the movie, you know, <laughs> kicks off. And he's he's thinking like, oh, it's like a Pulp Fiction thing where the you know time shifts and yeah, the beginning right, is yeah. the end, but then the middle is the middle is the end, but then there's we we show the start or whatever. And they're like, no, that's when the band goes from strength to strength. Yeah. <laughs> 
And he's like, is that? Is that what it in is? In the lead up to when you auditioned for a new band member? Yeah, right. Is it when you did that collaboration with Five? And I guess, The We Will yeah. Lock You cover? <laughs> when, when Terrence Trent Darby was in the band for a minute? Yeah. Uh, no, look, here, and here's the thing. Like, I understand, like, if you're in Queen. Because they've and, still been doing it. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they're still touring and, like, you know, there was so much... If you were in the band Queen, one of the most famous bands in the world who everybody thought were like destined to fail for quite some time. And I, then, was, I was in that band. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Mm. Um, you, you don't want to be like, well, you're just the backing band for Freddie Mercury. You want to be known yeah, as. Yeah, of course, because they obviously are talented musicians. Yeah, but, in the, but like, yeah. and one's an astrophysicist. Uh, but like. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> and ugly. <laughs> yeah, I right. Point out, but sorry, right, go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you, I mean, that band has a definite arc. You know what yes. I mean? It's, <laughs> yeah, and it's Freddie you Mercury. Just gotta, you just gotta, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we we know how that turned out. We do. Bohemian Did you Rhapsody. see that movie? No. Yeah, it's not very good. I mean, I've seen all the the, the editing. <laughs> yeah, seen, sure, yeah. I feel like I've seen the movie. It's a, there's great performances in it, but yeah, yeah it's not. Um, okay, so speaking of Borat. Mm. Okay, so. A few outlets have reported the the role, this arena woman, is being played by a Bulgarian actress named Maria Bakalova. Yes. But that sounds an awful lot like Baklova, if you so ask you me. It's, maybe it's a very common Bulgarian know. name, yeah, Mason. Yeah. But, I mean, either way, mm. uh, it's either an unknown actor named Maria Bakalova or it's, a, or it's an unknown actor named Irina Novak. So, yes. You know. uh, there, is a, there is a Marina ba- Baklova on Ooh. Instagram, but it's a private oh. account, but, you know. Looks like it could maybe be her, but yep. I honestly have no idea. There you go. Anyway, we'll all watch this because Borat. And and it's free if and you've got Amazon. And it's free if you're paying if that you, monthly fee. But if you don't have Amazon, you probably get a week for trial period or something. Yeah, that's cool too, isn't it? Yeah, so you can watch Borat too. Watch Borat too. Watch Borat too or other things. Watch the boys. I'm trying to think, what, what do I – because, I, I, yeah, I, I find him really interesting in interviews as well. Yeah. And just like when he's just like – and I, I, I do like his comedy as well. Yeah. Just like a lot of it, but – He's very interesting as a person. I would maybe prefer to watch something where he's not doing a character mm. or he's being just a re- is the, if, does he have is he done roles where he's just a man in a movie or Yeah. Uh well he's, he's in Lame is. <laughs> oh, and he was But in, he's in other things. He was in the uh, the race he was in Talladega Nights, right? Oh uh, yeah. But that's still I don't Yeah. I, I would like to see him in like a British drama or I'm like sure a, he's a done British it. comedy a British drama where, something. where he's a relationship dramedy or something like yeah, okay. that. I think that would be interesting, and maybe he could write it as well, okay. like a catastrophe kind of show. I think that would be. Oh really well, he's in that um, the Trial of the Chicago, Chicago, Chicago Seven movie that's coming out. Oh, so he's one of those. So that's a very serious role. Yeah, that obviously. is a very serious role. Yeah. Uh, the Spy was a mini series, which looked very serious. Oh, he's in East Bound and Down. I didn't know that. He's in Hugo, probably as some kind of train conductor. I don't yep. know. <laughs> He's in Sweeney Todd. Yeah, he'd be a train conductor chasing some a little yeah. boy down a train or something. But he's yeah. But no, he has done his serious roles. There you go. Yeah. Have you seen the Ali G movie? Yes. Martin Freeman's Martin in that. Martin Freeman, I remember that, yeah. Mm, there you go. All right, cool. Should we do another news? Yes, let's do another news. People are very excited. Oh, no, one thing I want to mention about him is he, go on. he I like that he is evolving and saying things and attempting to say things at least even if you disagree. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like uh, because we have an equivalent of that here in Australia, Chris Lilly, we've talked about before. The less said about the better. Yeah, but, you know, I feel like he kind of – I know because Sasha Baron Cohen was a fan of him at one point. Uh I was like really impressed with what he was doing with – I think it was Summer Heights High was around that time, but he kind of stopped – kind of evolving and just started just doing blackface. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just think this guy seems to, you know, he's he's evolving and thinking about things and, you know, I just think that's good. Yeah. I mean, what's it saying though? You know, like masks and politics, yep. you know what I mean? Absolutely. Monster Hunter has a teaser. Oh, it sure does. I've never played a Monster Hunter game. Neither have I. But this doesn't seem right, Mason. In what way? <laughs> I assumed they were set in like a fantasy they are like a like so a. So I looked a, into it, like a Zelda style realm. Yeah, but monsters. Yes, um, people will tell you that that's different, probably. Mm-hmm. But this is this is the He Man situation, Master of the Universe, where ah, right. it's people transported to a, the Monster Hunter realm. Oh, all they have is their wits and a minigun. Apparently, the, their weapons don't work and stuff as well against the uh, monsters they're, they're hunting. Gonna to, they're going to have to get. They're going to have to take up a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Yeah, uh, it, and it looks it. It looks a lot like a Triceratops on like sure. spider legs, right? That's a famous uh, monster from the series. Oh, the franchise. Cetera, so that's one thing that people like. But there's a lot of people that are also like, why is the American military in this movie? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's 
Do you think at the end they're going to have to close the portal to stop them all getting through to Earth? Oh, yeah. Close the portal. Close the portal. you got to align the crystals. Use a magical bomb of some sort. <laughs> yeah. It's good. you got to reverse crystals, the whatever. Yeah. yeah. It should be really good. It's the Montana key. Yes. So Mila Mil- Jovovich is in this. And uh, this is a, her husband's. Her husband's Wes Ball. Paul W.S. Anderson? Yes. Yeah, right. That's right, yeah. Who did some of the Resident Evil movies but not, not the Wes ones. Anderson, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> but, not, <laughs> but he didn't do the one set in the desert. Which this one also kind of looks like. Uh, okay, right, right. But he did some of the others. Maybe the first okay, two great. and some others. I don't remember. Yep. So there you go. James? Yep. This is from youquiz.com. What monster hunter monster are you? There we go. How many questions is uh, that? It doesn't say. It says quit. We, we can skip that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, we're not going to know whatever it is. No. Monster hunter monsters are big, small, strong, weak, and many more. But which one are you? Put in your name. Put in your date of birth. Yep. <laughs> Put in your credit card details. details. Thank you. You're whatever. You're whatever this one. Just, it's just a random picture. It's got a – no, here's the – I'm not going to do this one <laughs> because it – oh, okay, right, right. No, okay, right, right. Uh, James, if you got onto a fight, would you <laughs> call friends for help? Say no and run to the nearest river and hide. River? Says river. River and hide? Yes. Where am I hiding in that river? In the Am-I river. In the river, okay. Or near the river. Do I drown? Eat the guy who challenged you. <laughs> Oh, because I'm a monster. You're a monster. <laughs> For a second, I was like, why did it make me into my name? But How is may- that relevant? But maybe the biggest monster is man, you know what I mean? And uh, you're just yeah. eating people. Pip- yeah. Pin him down and the jump in the air and punch him right in the face at full power. I'll do that one. Okay. There's I'll two do- more options, though. Oh, no, I'd still do that one. Laugh at them and then obliterate them. <laughs> <laughs> These are all very tempting, James. What's the last one? <laughs> so it says... Fight, trying to sleep, WTF, I told you to go away, rams into Guy and crushes him. <laughs> That's a good I one. I feel so we shouldn't do this, Chris. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. I, I can't think. tell whether you're actually reading these or you're having a making stroke. Making them up. <laughs> yeah, or you're making them up. I'm just making them up. I don't know. Anyway, if somebody could do this Monster Hunter quiz and let us know which monster you are. Yeah, please. Very... And let us know how many questions it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But honestly, I think you'd like, I'll do this for you yep. as the episode progresses, but please. I think you would laugh at them and then obliterate them. That's probably, that's more that's my right, speed, that's isn't absolutely it? Yeah. what you would do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Variety reporting, the Barry Kenkins, uh, director of Moonlight. Is that right? Have I said that wrong? Barry Kenkins. Yeah. Are you sure it isn't Jenkins and your autocorrect, autocorrect is gone Kenkins. insane? Mm. It is Barry Jenkins. I knew it was. I haven't seen Moonlight. I really got to watch it. Apparently it's incredible. Uh, he's going to be working on a follow-up, but prequel to The Lion King. Follow-up prequel. Yeah. And it's going to be CGI animated? Yes, photorealistic okay. like the last one. Yeah, Sources right. say the new movie will partly focus Barry Kenkins. <laughs> we'll focus Why would it on, ever be Barry it Kenkins? Be. We'll focus if pa- you're out there and you're listening to this and your name is Kenkins, hang your head in shame. <laughs> <laughs> we'll partly focus on the early years of Mufasa, the regal father of Simba whose death forms the emotional, emotional heart of the first movie and its remake. Uh, Jeff Nathanson, who wrote the first screenplay for the 2019 movie, is returning to write the follow-up. Uh, people are uh, speculating that it might be a prequel slash sequel. Because it's partly okay, right. going to focus on Mufasa. Right, it so it'll might, be a sequel and then they'll flash back yeah. to the... Because it might be like his early reign and also his father's... Right. Uh, Simba's early reign and... This will be Die Hard 6 in the jungle. Yeah, it'll be The Godfather 2 and other movies who've done this as well. <laughs> right. Um, I This... Uh, uh, boo, obviously. But mm. good director and it's a different story. The, as oh, an actual fresh and new King story, again. sure. So, yeah. Do you think it'll take elements from Lion King, various sequels and spin-offs? Potentially, absolutely. Because yeah. I know like there's a cub in the second one who looks like Scar, mm-hmm. so like it's presumed that he's a bad guy, but maybe he's not a bad guy. Um, there's a song that people like in it. Neve Campbell's in it. I'm just mm, sure, things sure. out there. What do yeah, you got? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to – I think it might take small elements, but no, I think it's going to be its own thing mm. at this point, yeah. Because also people love that movie, so they'll be like, I can't believe we didn't do Simba's Pride. Make the movie exactly the same. Exactly right. You know what I mean? Okay, James, what is your favourite colour? I'm choosing for you red and green because it's a bit cheeky. That's not. And you're a bit cheeky okay, in that one colour though? No, no, I'm going to put that through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. This is going very well. Okay, good. That's good to hear. Yeah. Deadline are also reporting. That favourite food, bugs. No, mate. No, that's what you like. I don't like you bugs. like bugs. You eat bugs. I don't think I've ever no, eaten too a bug. Late. I'll put it through. I'm probably by accident, like riding my bike. Mm. Uh, so the Netflix are doing a Conan live action series. So the deal that they've made is 
uh, they've got an exclusive exclusive option to acquire the rights to Conan's uh, literary library and develop works across TV and film, both live action and animated. Interesting. They're looking for a showrunner, but I don't know if you remember this. If it's for for a few years now. Uh, Arnold has talked about coming back and doing King Conan because you remember at the end of I think the first Conan he's like old and he's in his yeah, chair yeah, yeah, and whatever right, right. so I want to come back and do like his last hurrah okay. I don't know whether they would do that version yeah uh, probably not I'd imagine it seems like they're going to do their own thing and yeah. they want to do their own like the Witcher but Conan or whatever yeah, I'm right. a ma- I don't know I'm just who owns presuming. Conan at this point because well, Netflix in- now oh yeah but I mean, oh, it- no exclusive option it's, it's probably in the family right. Might be because he's been recently in Marvel Comics as part of um, huh. Avengers One Million BC, I think. Mm. Unless I'm making that up. Howard Properties. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So whoever that is, or yeah, uh, sorry, Cabinet Entertainment as well. Uh-huh. The most famous thing that they own is Conan. Mm. Did you ever see Conan the animated series in the nineties? And yet, uh, no. his family had turned to stone by oh, a no. Snake Man. And he's like, I'll avenge them. And I'm like, didn't they get murdered or something? No, Turn to Stone. No, no, you're always remembering Turn to Stone. Okay. Uh, Conan is in the Savage Avengers. Okay. Which includes Isn't Wolverine. Like an early Black Panther or something? Uh, no, it's Dr. Voodoo. Okay. Who's like uh, like a Sorcerer Supreme, like a Ooh. originally Brother Voodoo. Uh, so it's it's uh, Conan the Barbarian, Wolverine the Punisher, Venom, Elektra, and Dr. Voodoo. Oh. That's interesting. I have not read that. I have not read it either. Mm. Oh, it's good to have an ad. It's good to have a break. Oh, my a God. Breather, so, you know oh, I mean? God, I love an ad, you know? I mean, look, I like taking a breather, you know what I mean, but I wish I had delicious food or even delicious food I could order online. Ah, so this is why you're hoping you get an ad so you can feed your family. Exactly. That's that what I'm money. talking about. Because HelloFresh Mason, they offer convenient delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. And the recipes are easy to follow and quick to make with simple steps and pictures that guide you along the way. It's really satisfying to mm. put something together. Exactly. Especially when you know you can't ruin it. <laughs> yes. like it's even And it looks like the picture. You're like, yeah. this looks like the picture. Like picture. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Right? Well, well, you, you can go to McDonald's and get a bloody Whopper, you know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't look anything like the bloody... I mean, you can't get a Whopper at McDonald's, Mason. I'm just saying that because we'll get emails, <laughs> but... Uh... But why would you anyway? I did that hoping we'd get emails. Oh, good. Dave. It's all about engagement, isn't it? I agree. Anyway, don't worry about McDonald's. It's garbage food for idiots. Because you can save 40% by using HelloFresh uh, versus shopping at your local grocery store. And it's more convenient too. That's, of course, because they pre-proportion. Well, it's part of the reason is they pre-proportion everything. So you haven't got a lot of food waste. There's also something for everybody, including low-calorie, vegetarian, and kid-friendly recipes. And there, like I said, you're not overbuying, which is also a burden on the planet as well as your uh, wallet. That's right. Do you want to burden this planet anymore? Is that what you're about? No. Good. It's a good thing. It's also America's number one meal kit. Oh. I know. How good is that? How did they uh, end up associating with a couple of scumbags like us? Because they know that we love HelloFresh. Well, that is actually true. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of. We look good on the inside. Not oh so much goodness. on the outside. Uh, Mexican pork rissoles and smoky cheese fries with uh, cherry tomato salsa and a li- uh, lime sour cream. Incredible. Hello. Incredible meal. Yeah. You can get if you order HelloFresh, That's obviously. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of, you can actually go to HelloFresh.com slash 80, as in 80, Weekly Planet, and use code 80, 80, Weekly Planet, to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Inc- Does it sound incredible? That's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Well, let me so just- many free meals. That's too many. That's not. It's the it's a good amount. It's a good amount. Yeah. Let me just repeat that in case people are baffled and in case they think I misspoke. Surely you misspoke, James. I did not misspoke. Uh, go to hellofreshcom slash eighty weekly planet and use code eighty weekly planet to get a total of eighty dollars off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Uh, that is linked below if you do want to check it out. Thank you very much, and on with the show. What a good break, though. I'll make those wristles. Make them up. Make them up. Mm. Looks like the picture. But do you want some comic book news, movie news? Yes. yes. Deadline are reporting that newcomer uh, Aman Vellani is playing the title role in Marvel uh, in Marvel's Ms. Marvel, mm. the series for Disney+. Plus. Speaking of newcomers, because New she hasn't done a movie role before this, no, I abso- think. absolutely yeah. not. Mm. So, you know, every now and then they'll bring in a fresh face like a Tom Holland. That's right, yes. Or a Brie Larson who'd never done a movie before. That's right. Bringing these people in, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, so it seems like a good choice as far as I can tell. People are making a, somewhat of a big deal that she if her letterbox account was Oh, found, yeah, yeah, that's that's fun. And uh, um, she didn't really like the Ms. Marvel. Yeah, the, if, I, if I can Marvel read it movie, out here because I uh, yeah. for people who don't know, Letterbox the uh, the website where you can uh, rate and, and review all the movies you watch. That's where we watch. make those videos from. Yeah, yeah. the reviews from. Uh, and uh, this is it says uh, Captain Marvel 2019, uh, two stars, 
these stars are not for Brie Larson. I will sacrifice my own life for Brie Larson. There you go. And she reviewed it in the t- uh, February 27, 2019. So this isn't, this is pre her being cast yeah, as well. So yeah. there you go, right. Do you think she's going to get some backlash, Mason? Uh, no. No, nah, it's fine. But all these reviews are pretty funny. Yeah. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, does being dead mean nothing? <laughs> Two and a half stars. Uh, Tenet, three stars. Okay, okay, now explain it like I'm a child. <laughs> uh, fan- no, you know what? She absolutely will not get any heat for this. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, two stars. Don't be shy, show Galactus. Oh, so, when was that? This That was... Uh, July 8th of July, 2020. There you go. Yeah. Good stuff. There you go. Do you reckon that's a hint towards what's coming up? Oh. Let's I mean, read into can, it. We can speculate endlessly, I think. So that would be speculate. good. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously off the back of the video game as well, this is like a character that's gaining more and more traction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is really good. And yeah, cool. I'm into it. She seems fun as well. Yeah. The the best thing about this is because I again I didn't know anything about Iman Vellani mm. and so I googled her name yeah and of course you, there's there's not really a lot on IMDb or Wikipedia but of course one of the top results is from uh, our friends over at Cosmic Book News one of the best and it says uh, one of the goddamn best it's from two days ago and it's a little a uh, little link to uh, their page and an article it says Ms Marvel Iman Vellani didn't like Captain Marvel Star Wars and then the header photo is uh, our famous. Their, 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 there's trademark header photo, which is uh, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker drinking green milk and then a picture of Brie Larson <laughs> screaming. Making, making a screamy face. But it's different from the last one we saw. So. Oh, yeah, because we, we often... Because they have an unlimited supply of Brie Larson yes. making making um, mean faces. We frequent uh, such websites on our uh, spin-off podcast and the big sandwich.co. We, we got, got, we got, got this covered, covered. covered, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. This week, though, we're doing a... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles commentary. That'll be oh, up right, right now. Yeah, yeah. So of the 1990 classic. I had a lot of fun that revisiting that. was good coming that, back yeah. to that. So, yeah, that's up now if you're hearing that, if you do want to sign up. Or you're already there. Do you want some exciting news, Mason? Yes. And by exciting, I mean confusing. Yep. The Hollywood Reporter reported that Jamie Foxx was in final talks to return as Electro. Uh, excuse me? His f- last appearance was, of course, in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in 2014, a movie that everyone hates to at the time <laughs> I saw it. And I'm like, this is fine. But would uh, you watch it again is the question. Uh, yeah, we'll ha- we will because we'll probably cover them for Caravan of Garbage. Didn't we, didn't we do a... No, Mason, we did the Tobey Maguire ones and we but saved didn't them. We, no, but didn't we do... We do it an episode on No, the show. but James, but didn't we do some audio commentaries on the Amazing Spider-Man movies? I think we only did the first one. Okay, great. But I don't know. Sign up to BigSandwich.com and find out. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Or ja- just Google it. And just maybe Google it. Google it. The answer will be there. Jamie Foxx said this though. Tell Spidey, let's run it back. Super excited to be part of the new Marvel Spider-Man new installment. Can't wait for you all to check out the new one. And I won't be blue in this one, Ooh. but a thousand percent badass. Hello. So, so that's confirmed then. That isn't. Seems to be. Wow. I mean, he says that he's in it, so I'm presuming that's true. But he's, uh, the interesting thing about that is that, um, is it like a, uh, what's it called? Is it a multiverse thing? Is it like, yeah, is right, it just right. like a, another chance to play the character? Where are we yeah. at? I do think they are going to get – they'll eventually do a Spider-Verse-y thing with the live yeah, action. Yeah, right, for sure, yeah. But uh, I think also they've, they're they obviously building the Sinister Six. Yes. And an easy uh-huh. way to do that would just might be go, Electro. Um, yeah, no, he's a pre-existing yeah. villain. He's, yeah, you, uh, you, you know, acquired some, some – Whether or not it's the same – or not. It's like Deadpool's yeah. used the same actor. And yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. And of course, we did get you know uh, J.K. Simmons as uh, J. Exactly. Jonah Jameson. So you know, we've set a we've set a very minor precedent, and people seem to be okay with it. So just yep. chuck him in. Just say it's you know the same guy got the same powers in a slightly different way, has a different look yes. in this universe. Do you think they might go? Do you think they'll go with traditional Electro, or like big, Lightning Bolt face, or big? Do you remember from the game, the Insomniac game, yeah. the big, the big uh, star scar on his face? Yeah, and he's got his uh, little power suit going yeah. on there. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't know. Yeah. I think they probably won't do the big spandexy suit, but they'll, no. probably, they'll be shades of it. I think they should do. They should build the Sinister Six, and they all look like you know, like huge mechanized industrial monsters, except one of them who wears a spandex, <laughs> like a primary coloured spandex suit. Like he missed the memo, and they're like Spider Man. You're not going to defeat the Sinister Six, and they all form up, and there's <laughs> one spandex guy, and he's like, guys, what the heck? <laughs> Guys. And it's Michael so, Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> He's in his feathery suit. That's right. If they did uh, Sinister Six, because they've got Vulture, mm-hmm. they've got Scorpion, sort of, yeah. who's been introduced. Sandman? Sandman. Uh, no, no, they don't. 
No, they don't. On the new one. Yeah, They've yeah. got Mysterio, which you could bring back because yep. he didn't die, or he's a he's really a team, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. He's a okay. team of dudes. He's the, the classic group. Yeah, is Mysterio, mm-hmm. Electro, yep. because they're both in Vulture, that's three. Uh, Dr. Octopus, we need a new Haven't Dr. Octopus. Yeah. Do you think um, Alfred Molina would come back? Definitely. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Craven the Hunter. Yes. But sometimes, uh, like when Craven the Hunter was dead for a long time, they brought in Hobgoblin. Okay. Or we could bring in a Green Goblin. Well, there's a minute Green Goblin. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. But no, but what we, I'm saying what we have already in this universe is Mysterio, yeah. Scorpion. Uh, what's his name? The flying one. Yeah, Scorpion's not usually in the Sinister Six. No, though. but it doesn't matter. No, I was going to say who you yeah, got. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because the Sinister Six is, you know, can be that's true. Yeah, a yeah. variety. Okay, as it were. I, I mean, he has. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, we could bring. Here's some other options. Go. Uh, Black Cat. Mm. Bring in a bring in a okay. sexy lady. Oh, a sexy lady. Mm, just a lady. Just a lady. Just a regular lady. I'm into it. An old lady. <laughs> An old lady. Ooh, yeah. An old lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Sandman, obviously. Yep. Uh, Electro, the chameleon. Oh. Shape changing. The Chamelon, yeah. Yeah, give him some. Well, that's the thing. Would they do shape shifting? Like they just did shape shifting. We had some scrolls in. Uh, yes. And Mysterio can be anybody. That's true, yeah. Mm. Um, okay, he's out. Uh, the lizard? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'd bring in, would you bring I in can... re- Rice Ephens? No. Mm. We'd bring in uh, the modern day Rice Ephens, who is. Someone from Penny Dreadful. Who's like British and they're like, eh, you know what I mean? Well, uh, you know, Paul Bettany would be a good choice, but yeah. he's already. Um, That's true, yep, yep. Hydro Man. Well, we he, got him for, got him. Yeah, yeah, in a way. For, yeah, okay, right, right, right. Uh, Shocker died, but we give him the. Give, no, give, there's a second one, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's a second one, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Hammerhead. Mobster. I would like to see big mobster hammerhead man. <laughs> mobster, mo- big flat-headed mobster who thinks oh, he's in the mafia. Love it. Uh, boomerang. But we've got a, we've got a Captain Boomerang yeah, in Sinister Six. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they bring him in just for the joke. Yeah. Uh, Tombstone, who's like a Frankenstein's monster. Do you mean Sinister dude. Six or do you mean um, Suicide Squad? Sinister, that's what I mean, yeah. Okay, Suicide yeah, Squad, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the other one, sorry? What did you say? Uh, Tombstone. Oh, yeah, I like, like him. He, he played a bit of a monster guy. He, played, yeah, he was yeah. in Spider-Man and he was in that recent game as oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. 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 Oh, we could do Lady Doctor Octopus. Yeah. This is Octopus. This is Octopus. Right. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, I like that. Is there a Mr. Octopus? <laughs> uh, I like that. That would, And she would be good. What's the actress's name who did that? Can't I know remember. she's in Marvel stuff. Oh. She's already in Vision. What's her name? She's the witch in Vision. Oh, um, Catherine Hahn. Yeah, she yeah. plays. Um, oh, the animated version. Yeah. Right, interesting. That would have been a good choice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, who else could we get? Uh, the Beetle. Like Iron Man, but evil Iron Man. Oh yeah, but he's a beetle also. That's, yeah. But he's also a beetle. But we're, we could. I, I wonder if Marvel are also building the Thunderbolts, which is like the evil. Well, that's evil right. Avengers, so maybe you do like a bullseye or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's all the options we have, James. Those are interesting Venom. options. Venom, bring him Venom. in somehow. They well, they can because they're connected. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Morbius. Oh no, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I forgot about those yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's all the good ones. But Mor- Morbius is sometimes a good guy, isn't he, or something? No, I don't care. Yeah. None of us <laughs> Just care. kidding. I do kind of care. Mm, I guess. Mm. Uh, Spider-Man has a new face. This is our last bit of news. Oh, he does too. That's, yeah. This. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what they've done, there's a revamped version of Spider-Man the PS4, PS5. Coming to the PS5. Five. Now, I was under the impression. Go on. Which is very incorrect, evidently, mm. that how they built the Spider-Man PS4 face is they just got random like graphical elements yes. and mashed them together until I had something resembling a human face. Yes. And we all went, that's actually not bad. It's a human face. But it turns out that he was an actual human person. It was person a man. And they, they screen capped his, they mo-capped his face. Yeah. And they but they used him. Yuri Lowenthal's voice. Ah. He's the Prince of Persia guy. Oh, I see. And he's like 40-odd. Yeah. yeah. But it turns out now, very incorrect, I was the only one who didn't know that they did that and now they've replaced the actor. So I guess they've mo-capped him doing... Everything over yeah, again for this. I guess movie. so. And this version uh, looks really different. I like it. Yes, go like, on. Like I, th- I think graphically it looks good. Yes, and I think also the face. Maybe it's just because the face looks more realistic. Yes, I because I because I'm like you. I thought that face was like a composite or yeah. something. I'm like, yeah, I thought it was a composite yeah. of like, okay, we need a go- we need some elements that look like all the various Spider Man because yeah. he had like Andrew Garfield hair and then a little bit of Tom mm. Holland and a little bit of, but I guess there's a man out there that looks like it looks that. like that. And good for you, man. That's <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, not to take away from that man who looks like several men, but <laughs> he looks like several Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, somehow. <laughs> but and he's like, finally, I've 
Finally, there's a, I've, a job for me. People yeah. are always like, mm, I don't like I don't, you're not right for this role. But one day he was right. He was yes. right in the he was right in the, <laughs> the the golden ratio of like looking like enough Spider Man that he could land his perfect role. And he's like, I am set for life because there are so many cinematic Spider Man, and I kind of look like all. They're of them. They're gonna have to scan my face every goddamn year. I can wear year. a big polo shirt tucked into slacks like the animated Spider Man. That's right. That's know? what I can do. But but and now they're like, no, nah, you're out because we found a guy who looks a bit more like Tom Holland. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian uh, Intaha, who's mm. the creative director of that, said, um, today's news about Peter Parker's face model was surprised some of you. Well, yeah. Uh, and we at Insomniac totally understand your reaction, but we discussed the franchise future and moving to the PS5, but quickly became apparent that delivering even more believable looking characters made finding a better facial, facial match for actor <laughs> uh, Yuri It's Lowenthal. just we don't believe mm. for Spider-Man actor that you could be a real I man. I think it's a mocap match yeah, more right. than uh, like interesting. a cr- more than choice. they're denying his basic humanity. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, so it became a necessity, he's okay. basically saying. Um, I think I'm one of the few people that actually quite like it. But I want to say, I think, it, look, honestly. Have you I, seen it in motion? Yes. Yeah. Mm. I think. Because they're looks, like, look at this 4K, and I'm like, this means nothing yeah, on yeah, my look, phone. Yeah, look, there are, there, are, there are a couple of issues that I that people have brought up. One is that he people are like, well, it looks he looks too much like Tom Holland without looking like Tom Holland. Okay. And people are like, well, this is Avenged Square but Enix. again, though, no, real guy, though. Well. well, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But the other complaint people are having is he looks quite young. For a character who's supposed to be in his mid-20s, he looks like, some people are like, well, he looks 17, 18. Yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. Like, I hate this. That's but, you know, people saying. look, he's supposed to be like 23. Yeah, I guess so, yeah, so yeah, you'd, yeah. You'd be like, yeah, that's 23. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Do you yeah. remember how young I looked when I was 23? You looked old, James. You looked old as shit. You looked old and busted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look younger now, though, right? Ooh. Okay, good, thank you. Um, that's the last bit of news, unless you've got some more news. Look, let's finish up this Monta- Monster Hunter quiz. How many, uh, qu- how many? We don't know, though, do we? So this could be another hour. No, I'll, I'll knock it out real quick based <laughs> on the things that I think you would you would be. Okay. Do I have if, no control in this? You have no control over it. If okay. someone wanted to race you, you would say races suck and punch the guy. I that's would very, say that. That's, that's very so you. So that's next. Okay, uh, um, a couple to go. Your friend asks you to do something really embarrassing. Do you... But what specifically? Say no and punch that guy. That's what I do. That's what you do. That's my reaction. Wait, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. There's two options at the end. Say yes because you respect your many friends. <laughs> Say yes because you don't want to upset one of your few friends. That's the one. <laughs> few That's the friends. one. That's the one you you would do. <laughs> uh, someone stronger than your friend but weaker than you beats up your friend. <laughs> do you? Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Someone stronger than your friend, friend, but, but weaker, weaker than, than you me. beats up your friend. Do you? Uh, uh, boom, <coughs> boom! I just killed him. That's me. That's very you. Okay, here we go. Out of these, which is your favourite? Sea monster, T Rex, sleep, Velociraptor, <laughs> Komodo dragon, a giant tank that shoots exploding sticky bombs that completely decimates everything it meets. Sleep. <laughs> I was gonna say, you've, you've got two children. <laughs> And you are, James. Wait, oh, it's loading. It's loading. Here we go. Here we, you, go. we got your answer. James, you are a, a brachidios. So true. Brachidios. What does that Hot look like? Hot-tempered and rash, James. You might fi- may find yourself a ticking bomb that will go boom. Yeah, that's so The second man. someone does something you don't like. Hot temperatures are your favourite. You have only a few close friends. Exploring is your thing. Does brachidios only have a few close friends? I guess so. Not many will try to fight you as you have a reputation for being strong. Goddamn right now, I do. Now, if everybody else would like to do this quiz and let us know what kind of Monster Hunter monster you are, we'd appreciate it. <laughs> this one looks like it's, it vomits acid or something. Nice. I can't tell. Well, that's like you when you, you know. Been on the bloody terps, mate. <laughs> right. <Yep. laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Terrific stuff. That's I can't tell whether stuff. this has got three heads or some of it's his fists. It's probably the thing that the... the um, the thing we saw in the in the trailer. It's got big they probably, they, No, it's got what, big fluoro green fists. You know what? They grip, probably all look the same. Ah, oh, big fans of that series are gonna they're gonna hit you up, especially if you're st- stronger than their friend but weaker than them. <laughs> I'll be just beat them and up. You attack I'll them just friend. beat them up. Yeah, but just, they'll attack you. No, you can, I'll just decimate them. Yeah, you're right. I'll have, I'll have that big tank that shoots sticky bombs. <laughs> All right, you know, and I'll be goddamned if that tank that shoots sticky bombs is this movie. I will riot because I'm now the world's biggest fan of Monster Hunter World. So it's one of those games that I feel like I should play, but it's at the level where I'm like, this is beyond me. They, they've been I think out. it seems like a big t- time commitment as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not doing any of that. Okay, good. I know we get emails that say I should, but look, just save your 
James, save your time. I'm just not. I'm just no, not. I say email in. <laughs> Can try and convince James to play Monster Hunter World you or can't. whatever you the new one is called. You absolutely can't. You absolutely can't. Uh, uh, anyway, hate mail. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this. So hate mail, but the hate has an eight in it. Is a recurring, but uh, but not not all the time, is it, Mason? It's Often a, recurring. It's but a sparingly recurring sparse, segment. Yeah. Very good. Where basically I take eight bits of hate mail from our YouTube channel mm. or my YouTube channel, but yeah, you know, no, you're, in, it. you're yeah. in most of it at this point. <laughs> Where because I got kids and it's hard to write no, videos when you're right, tired yeah. all the yeah, time. That's right. But uh, <laughs> but I have no kids and so I can engage in amazing flights of fantasy. Exactly, you know what I mean? it helps me. Like out. imagine going out to the shops. I can't you know even, I mean? mate. Yeah, yeah. I can't even. I don't even have time for a bloody shop, mate. To do the bloody for the bloody anyway. What am I doing? <laughs> no. Because I take uh, eight bits of hate mail. You barely have time to vomit big, <laughs> big green acid things. <laughs> exactly. Whatever it is you do. <laughs> I used to love that. We used to go out every week every and week we'd vomit do out the acid exactly. thing and I would shoot my sticky bombs, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was about to say that it's uh, it's always hate, uh, it's yeah. always hate, but it's never eight. No. I thought for a second it was eight, but it's actually nine oh, bits of hate God. now this week. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, we would have had to not do the segment this week. So this is a bit of a warm-up. This is from Cold Cuts and it's on our Caravan of Garbage review for The Mummy and it just mm-hmm. says, I hate you. So that's like just a bit of that's a. Pretty, you know, that's fairly standard. standard. Yeah, that's I something like I wouldn't that. normally put in, but it's like an introduction. Now the movie, the Mummy, not the time we re- we talked about the video game. No, no, no. Okay. The movie, the Mummy. Okay, so right. there so you no go. other, no other. No, nah, that's just that's okay. just straight out of the that's game. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not one. Yeah, like I said, not one I normally put in. But you know. <laughs> was that my? Was it my dad? <laughs> Might have been <laughs> your bloody that. dad, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he likes. He likes me. This is from Mr. T on our Milan review, where we talked about uh, the process of casting Eddie Murphy and why that happened in the Dragon. This is from Mr. T. Uh, it's weird that you completely... James, admi- are you going to do it in a Mr. T voice? I don't think I could. Okay. <laughs> I can't even remember his classic catchphrase. I oh, know. Eat this, Snickers. Is that his catchphrase? <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. It is now. Uh, yeah. It's weird that you completely omitted the fact that Eddie Murphy voices the dragon? The most famous actor attached to this project and arguably the most famous American comedian. You don't... By the way, we've mentioned it. It's absolutely in the video... <laughs> Uh, I can't remember. Sometimes I just punch in the time code and send it back, but I don't know if I did it this time. Okay. You don't like the dragon because it's seen as problematic, but your PC bias stops you from acknowledging the fact that the character is voiced by a black man. I guess My uh- goodness. <laughs> I feel like oftentimes that's if, – if you were to go through that guy's other – uh, comments. He'd be he'd be commenting on every Mulan video with the exact same. Yeah, thing, right. You know, strange. What a strange. And maybe statistically, he's right. Like maybe he nails it four times out of five. It's entirely possible. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it's problematic. I just didn't think it was very funny. I think we mentioned that in the video, though. Mm. Uh, what else we got here? Hyper horse. I mean, Donny Osmond does the song. You know what I mean? We're oh, beyond yeah. problematic at this point, aren't we? That's exactly. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. This is from. Uh, and it's called I Am Authentically Chinese, me, <laughs> Donny Osmond. And I mean, I was like, maybe, maybe don't, maybe don't do it. Maybe don't do it, Donny. You know what I mean? <laughs> he did it. He did it. This is from Hyper Horse. And it's on, uh, the, you, know, you know, the casting when we were like, look at this casting that happened and nearly happened. Like, oh, Hugh, yeah, Jack- yeah, yeah, yeah. Hugh Jackman's in the thumb now because it was nearly James Bond. Hyper Horse says, stop wasting time trying to be funny. Your humor is cringe worthy at best. Please just focus on movies. You are not the fucking <laughs> Doug Anthony All Stars. Oh, what God. a reference! Oh my that's God, that's why I put that in. That's incredible. so specific. That's really like specific. that's even a gamble that we'd get that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's but that's like, what was the video? What was the uh, actors that nearly got roles? That's wild. <laughs> Because you'd have to make that reference and think it's a like a reference people would get. You'd have to be like sixty, yeah, right. I guess, yeah. So I I put that in because for people who don't know, the Doug Anthony All Stars were like a musical comedy trio. <laughs> yes, in the eighties. Yeah, and like they're still around, but they they haven't worked together in in decades. No, one's like a one's like an ABC like a, a like an ABC radio presenter. Yep. One's a does like TV show TV, host sometimes, yeah. and one does like one man shows occasionally. Yeah. Uh, and they split up in the early nineties, maybe yeah, if yeah, not yeah, before. Yeah. But that's a that's nuts. Anyway, that's, I did I did respond to this. I just saw it. Um, I just wrote that is a timely reference. That's good. <laughs> if anything, it's too timely. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So that's wild. But, I they, <laughs> but, they, but also, like they were like they were like sort of pseudo punk. Like they were yeah. like rude, yeah. rude dudes. Crazy, and they had a they had a um a, a sitcom where they all lived in a submarine. I haven't seen that. That's capital. Is it good? Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, season two, the, the, the submarine was shot into space. So, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> it's good. Pretty good. And then they lived in space. It was like Red Dwarf. It was okay, basically, gotcha. it was basically like Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. This is from Alma Sun on our uh, Interstellar Caravan of Garbage review, and it's directed. Yeah, Doug Anthony all stars. <laughs> I know. Okay, you've you got to pick one. I'm Richard Feidler. Wait, no, I'm Paul McDermott. Oh, I like Richard Feidler. I'll take Richard Feidler. Okay, right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tim Ferguson. Uh, this is from Alma Sun, and it's directed specifically to you. Okay, I'm excited. For, um, for the Interstellar Caravan of Garbage review. Okay. See, Mason doesn't have kids. Probably his family doesn't like him too. He's also not a fan <laughs> of cerebral, well-thought-out movies and movies that require a lot of attention. This is the reason he does not think highly of Interstellar. I respect his opinion, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're alone. You don't have a family. No, I do have a Your family. Your brain they doesn't don't work. like me. They don't like yeah. or respect me. Your brain doesn't work properly. No, that's fair. <laughs> but Look, some days I think my brain works totally fine, but the other day I thought, are my fingernails growing faster than normal? <laughs> Is that bad or good? Or even true. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I thought about it for a long time. Yeah, and? I'm like, is is do, do I like is this bad? Is my metabolism working too fast now? Or is it? Yeah, it could be good. Or are my fingers receding? <laughs> yeah, my fingers. maybe that's it. So can that happen? I don't know. Yeah, uh, this is from Darkness Viking. This is from our uh, Har- we, we did a Harley Quinn review, which became a YouTube video. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, isn't this show a big SJW fest? Is the hosts SJW now? Yes and yes. Yes, I guess, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the wolf. What's SJW about Harley Quinn? Because she kisses a lady. Oh, yeah, that is pretty SJW. And that's SJW. Oh, my God. Imagine people kissing who they want. <laughs> I can't. In the world. It's too SJW. Also, every second word in the pilot's a swear word. You yeah, know exactly. I mean? That's the thing that, like, there's so much of, like, that I've seen, like, not on us but other people as well. It's like, yeah, but she screwed over Kite Man and whatever and, you know, it's just a... <laughs> It's just, a, it's just a, like a way to get SJW. Like, shut up. They're not real. What are you, guys, a massive like yeah. kite man defender <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden? Right. Yeah, Fucking yeah. calm down. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, fictional, like you said. This is from the 80s Wolf. Oh. Uh, this is about our. This, well, if I may, <laughs> yeah. I can't see his avatar, but he sounds like a guy who reviews 80s movies on YouTube and, he's, and his avatar is like a, he's a wolf. But he's in a big shouldered suit and he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> he's drinking like a martini or something. Sure, no, it's a, it's, a, it's Tom Hardy from the movie, um, that recent one he did, Capone. Oh, that's his picture. Al this... Capone's not an eighties wolf. I don't know what to tell you, mate. He's a twenties slash thirties wolf. I agree with you. Oh my god. Uh, so this is about uh, we did a video on whether Zack Snyder's Justice League cut will be good. He said, why wouldn't it be good? Zack Snyder do not make bad movies. Not even his CGI Al movie is a bad movie. Usually those calling his movies bad and you ask why, it's nitpicking and arguments like, I don't want it to be like this, so it's bad. And not forgetting all the woke slash SJW types that decided to hate him since 300 because adapting Frank Miller is racism. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is good stuff. First, if we get another SJW, we we get get SJW hat trick. Bigger, bigger, bigger. That's right. So... Oh, my God. I wonder if there is another one. I, I can't remember, so we'd have to go ahead. I've never heard anyone acu- <laughs> I've never heard anyone being like, uh, it's pretty SJW that you adapted Frank Miller. I don't, because yeah. of racism. I don't know. Uh, this is from Bra. It's from our, um, we did a video on uh, who's coming back. Captain Rex was coming back or oh, yep. for uh-huh. Mandalorian. Yeah, not going to watch a bunch of Star Wars cartoons because most of the fan base will continue to shill out to Disney. The saga ended for me back in 2005 after Avenger the Sith. Mandalorian, <laughs> Clone Wars, Ahsoka, brackets garbage, Rebels, <laughs> lol, bad, and Disney+. Plus. Have fun watching this franchise circle the drain after going full-blown woke. That or they run <laughs> that or they run out of creativity. We did it. That or, they- <laughs> that or they run out of creativity. Edit. You may reply, but I don't care about your shill opinions or what kind of garbage you're going to force uh, your kid to shovel down. There you wow. go. But, I, mean, I don't know if that's me specifically. Well, correction, but... you're going to shovel it into both of your kids. That's right. They're both going right. to cop it, mate. Um, well, that's great stuff. I love, <laughs> love the idea of just a guy being like, yeah, I've, I'm, I, the saga finished for me in 2005 when it was all about the art and the Happy Meal toys. You yeah, know? exactly, it's, yeah. I've, you, guys can, you guys can shill for Disney. I'll be over mm. here winding back my little pod race toys and then letting them 
<laughs> sail across my bedroom floor. Just a whizz, you know what I mean? I'm just going to see who's – now this is pod racing. Absolutely you know I mean? it is. You know what I think it is for a lot of people, why, yeah. like – the, the Revenge of the Sith love is because at the end two men scream at each other after one of them cuts the other one's legs off. And I think that's like people are like, that's real and edgy. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, that's very but true, like, yeah. If you look at the prequels, like as a whole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is from BJ Greenthumb. Uh, might be the same video. Oh, a different video. It doesn't really matter. Oh, here we go. We got Bingo Mason. Marvel went so SJW. Is like Star Wars. After Logan, they pretty much went soy. <laughs> Though Logan is a different, was a different student. Different stu- that, that yep. doesn't yep. matter yep, yep, yep. at that point. Obviously, it's not yeah, now, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah. there you go. Last one. It's from Aaron Rice. If This is when I think we might have mentioned that Bond might have been a woman at some point. Oh, or yeah, yeah. Or might have been the franchise. We talked about the over, different Elba Elba thing, yeah, whatever. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from Aaron Rice. Anyway, it's a different thing. Yes. We talked about maybe there might be a different thing. Yeah. And maybe somebody might enjoy a new different thing. Not this person, not Aaron know, Rice, the last one. If they make the Bond character a woman, it is a fail, all caps. It's lasted because of the formula. Why fuck it up? Oh, I forgot we live in SJW Me Too <laughs> pussy time. Yes. <laughs> that was the one I was laughing at before the show. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Also, I love the idea that, <laughs> that the Bond franchise has just been going from strength to strength. Like yeah. it's, just, it's on the verge of collapsing <laughs> every, 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 time. Every, second every second movie. Every second movie. It's just a, it's just a nightmare. You know what I mean? It's just They're always looking to sell it. Mm. Then a studio mm. collapses and an actor leaves. Yeah, this yeah. year it's a virus. It's always yeah, something, man. it's always man. something, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. That's hate it's them. a miracle. Like you, it's it's a numbers game that it survived. Yeah, it's <laughs> really? like imagine imagine all the other attempted franchises yeah. at this point that have just fallen to pieces because they just they they didn't exactly. have the brand recognition of Bond and they were just like no. Nope. That's right. Yeah, that's where we live in. I love it. Anyway, uh, remember we are observing with hate mail. It's like a safari. Yeah, that's not right. involving ourselves in any of this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, yeah. I don't want you to harass any of these Put those people. elephant gun de- guns down, please, folks. if you could. Yeah. Just observe. Uh, and that's hate mail. There we go. We've so done it again, it folks. Fun. I really enjoyed that one. That was good. Thank you. I thought you might. <laughs> we don't like to o- over overuse no, them, but uh, no, no. Now you were so, you, you you mentioned a while back that there was a classic piece of hate mail that you really, which was one. Was I one cannot of those? remember. It okay. might have been that last one because, okay, like right. I said, like I before the show, I was just reading through these and I just started laughing and I really wanted to tell you then that yeah, last yeah. one because <laughs> I forgot we live in SJW Me Too Pussy Time. Yeah, we do. That is. Uh, just just putting words together, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, you know what it's time for? It's a time for what we're reading? Yeah, what we're going to read. That's right. Let's see what we got. Let's get this theme song fired up. Mm. I'm doing the theme. What are we Westworld today? <laughs> Mason, what are you West reading today? Oh, my God. So much stuff, James. I bet you are. I watched Star Trek Lower Decks, or all the episodes that are out currently. And? I had a grand time with I our good too. friend, Jack Quaid. Jack Quaid? Yeah. Friend of the show, yep. Jack Quaid. Friend of the show, Jack yeah. Quaid, yeah. yeah. We always knew. That's right. And liked. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. always knew and liked Which it. is true. Which is actually true. Yeah, it is. Um, what's the rom-com he was in recently that I really enjoyed? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, we, we, you mentioned it briefly. You've, you're pretty much up to date as well. Yes, I, it's, it's. Tr- I don't know whether you like if you like classic Trek. Is this good? I, I have no idea. Is, yeah. I like it, but well, here's the thing. I think it's, it's, it's on that, it's on that cusp of like. I am sure there are people who are like, I love all the references, and I'm enjoying this a lot. And I'm sure there are people out there who are like, this is disrespectful to to sure. Star Trek. But every incarnation yeah. is disrespectful. Yeah. But for people who don't know, and it's probably nobody at this point, but it's like it's the. It's it's set on a on a sort of second tier yeah uh, Starfleet ship, and it's not it, it's mostly not about the command crew or the people on the bridge. It's mm. about the people who work in, and live and work in the lower decks, mm. and they they share bunks and they kind of you know they got their little adventures. Though, they go on they? they go on their little adventures and they you know save the day in their own kind of yeah. way. But uh, yeah, I mean and and it's very like it's very self self referential to the Star Trek universe. Yes, you know. They'll often the characters will reference like, oh my god, this is just this is a classic, you know, this is a classic one on one fight for honor situation kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like we've got a we've got like a second in command Riker kind of guy who's just constantly doing the double fist punch. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. there's no like that's yeah. his only move, but yeah. it always works a treat. Yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. Uh, and you, you've got a, we've got a 
cast of characters that I enjoy. Yeah, really, absolutely. Really good I fun. also enjoy it. So, mm. yeah. Again, I, I actually, I would be interested if you like classic Trek. Yes, or, let us know. Or I guess it's probably closest to Next Generation. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, they reference, it's, it's that kind of thing. I think they're trying to bring in as many references as possible. You know, you'll yeah. see like people in like an original series like Iron Lung yeah, kind yeah, of situation, like that, yeah. but it's like, you know, they'll reference like, you know, Section 31 and, and like Picard lot, and, and Picard and like a lot of, yeah. you know, quite recent stuff. So what a world. It's good. Um, I agree. Yeah, it's a classic. Uh, it's a classic odd couple situation. It certainly is. It's, we got Tawny Newsom as like she's mm. she's cool and laid back, and we've got Jack Quaid, our friend Jack Quaid. That's right. Uh, who's uh, who's real uptight. That's right. Yeah, and then a couple of other characters. Jack Quaid, who we, all, nerds. Who we always knew was uh, the son of Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan. We, we always, always knew. We him. always knew it, and we loved it. Yeah, loved the concept from of day it. one. Yeah. Uh, I actually watched. Something I haven't watched in like 15 years. Oh, my goodness. The new South Park uh, COVID <laughs> episode or whatever. Why did you do that? I don't know. People were like, this is good. And I went back and I went, this is like exactly as I remember it. I know there are fans of it and whatever, but it's like masks and Cartman's. He wants to do homeschool because he's lazy and Mr. Garrison <laughs> is Trump. Or is, the, is, the, is the takeaway from the episode, is there a big lecture at the end where it's like, well, what I learned is there are a lot of different perspectives in life. And, no, uh, not really. It's mostly like people are idiots, which oh, I think is like the general con- thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. not against South Park, but like, you know, they're still doing it and that's incredible. And yeah. I know they are like really standard episodes, but for me I'm like this is pretty standard stuff. They still kill Kenny? Yeah, he got killed, but huh. nobody – Acknowledged it. It just happened. All right. Okay. So I think they're well beyond that. Yeah. I mean, this, it's been it's been decades. Yes. Yeah, I was at maybe primary school when this show started. Yeah, I don't right. remember, but uh, yeah, it's been a long time. But good on them, and it's cheap, and they they knock them out quick. So yeah, that's, that's true. Good. Yeah. 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 Uh, what else did I watch? Oh, you know what I watched, and I don't. It, 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 we're we're in the. I don't know why I'm watching this period of of 2020. Sure. Uh, I watched. I've got the quick and the dead lined up on Netflix. I also do because <laughs> it just came to Net- Australia just Netflix. Netflix. It's um, yeah. it's um, Russell, Russell Crowe Crow and Sharon Stone and Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio and Gene Hackman. It's a li- it's, it's a a Lafors wh- from um the bloody fucking uh, Butch Cassidy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a it's a it's a western, but it's a little bit left of yeah. center. You know what I mean? Lance Hendrickson yeah. plays like a gunslinger yeah, right. kind yeah, of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I watched uh. Uh, Grace Point, which is the it's the American remake of Broadchurch. Oh, what's that like? It's got one season. It's exactly the same. Oh, well, <laughs> I enjoy. I don't know why I watched it. I enjoyed it. It's got um, Anna Gunn, so Skylar from Breaking Bad, as the in the Olivia Coleman role. Okay, it's got Jackie Weaver's in it as like the the, the love la- Jackie Weaver, the, la- the lady who lives in the trailer park kind of situation. I've never seen Broadchurch. Oh, okay, right. Never mind. <laughs> which should I watch? I mean, you Broadchurch. Watch the original. Yeah, I think because this only got one season, oh, and broad, re, uh, real Broadchurch has three. It's, it's Nick Nolte's in this version. Oh, Nick, is he an uh, Ugnaught in this one? No, he's a uh, but he's he's Ugnaught like. Yeah, but sure. He's like uh, he he's the Ugnaught that works at the the boat uh, the, the the boat uh, the boat. The, the he works pier. at the town. He works boat. at the town <laughs> boat. Uh, but strangely, David Tennant is the main is still oh, the main detective. Is the American accenting? Yes, he's doing. That's a, a real Red Dwarf situation where maybe a, Crichton came yeah, over. Yeah, he's doing a real generic American accent. And also his hair's orange. Like they've <laughs> You know what it would have been? Yes. Good omens. Oh, maybe. Maybe? No, I think it was. Well they tried was, to dye it back. Maybe. We look, we could look up the timeline, but what's, what's this the show point? called again, this version? Race point, all one word. Yeah. But it's I, very it's it's the sim it's very similar in the sense that uh, so the so the deal is if you don't know, uh there's been a murder in like a small close knit town. What? And uh one of the t- detectives is very close with the family of the child who was murdered. Yes. Or killed. We don't, you know, we don't know initially. Uh, and, but, and. He's not like orange, orange. Huh? He's like brownie orange. He's like a, I'm looking at his hair. Sorry. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is it's yeah. vastly different from his broad church yes. hair. And I'm wondering, did they like Hollywood up his hair for the uh, American version? Okay. Or is his hair naturally quite orange and they dyed it for broad church? What I think is. Yes. He's probably gray at this point because he's yeah. nearly 50. Uh, maybe, yeah. I. I hope. I mean, you're assuming that because (laughs) someone in this. Why is nobody my age going grey? Why is it just me? I've said this before. I think a lot of people are going grey, but they they just dyed their hair. So it's just me out there, just being real. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fucking hell. (laughs) (laughs) It's just not something I want to keep doing, and then when I then I stop doing it, people think I'm sick. I think everyone at this age is going bald, though. Which is okay. Most people you think about, you look at them and you go, "Oh, that person's completely bald." Yeah, it's a good point. They'd be grey if they had hair, but they don't. Oh, good. Yeah, (laughs) thank God. Yeah, right. (laughs) Um, I don't know. Maybe you know what? Maybe watch. 
Because they're on streaming here, like both of them. Yeah. I reckon maybe watch the first episode of both and see which grabs you more. Ooh. Because I, I, I think I should have done that and I didn't. Like, but also, re-watch. don't I want to watch like the three seasons of Broadchurch? Yes. So I wouldn't do. I just watch that or Maybe one? you should just watch Broadchurch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, maybe you could... Oh, no, I guess you couldn't just switch over naturally. No. Um, but... What if I just switched episodes? Like, just do you, <laughs> reckon it, do you reckon it would work? No, because I think the American version is longer. Ah. Yeah, I think it's got a couple more episodes. But uh, I don't know. I was. I thought it was. If you if you're out there and you've watched both, let us know. Out there. Which, which do you think is better? I uh, I'll let you know. It's. I mean, it, I don't know. I thought. I guess I went into it to be like, oh, they're really going to Hollywood this up kind of mm. thing. It's really going to be like a glamorous version, but it's not really. But it's outside like, the oh, hair, it's pretty standard. Yeah, stuff. outside the hair and going like, oh, I recognize. Yes. These character actors. It's quite like it's it's quite kind of, you know, uh pretty 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 grounded. Okay. I'm just googling David Tennant grey hair and I'm just not finding much Mason. <laughs> I'm seeing like Why shows. Why would you? He's got naturally shows where he's brown in where hair. he's got grey hair and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. I know you know Jack Harkness. Uh, what's the actor's name? He's in Arrow and he's in um, Oh, um, um, Captain uh, Jack. In, yeah, he's uh, Captain Jack. His name's... Uh, John Barrowman. There we go, yeah. He's got like white hair. Does and he? And he recently stopped dyeing it. Oh, and uh, He's and, like you. Yeah, he's like me. freak. <laughs> but he's been dyeing his hair for like 30 years. But he's probably years. older than you. He's probably, yeah, he's like 50. But, uh, but yeah, he's been dyeing his hair for like 30 years. Yeah, right. So yeah, there you go. Um, just, just crazy out there, you know what I mean? It's crazy. I mean, you're telling me there. Liam Neeson's not dying his hair. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I'm telling you exactly that. <laughs> okay. Um, I've, I've, you saw it before the show, but I've been playing Rogue Squadrons, a new Star Wars oh, that's game. Right. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the mood for some flight sim stuff, this is up your alley. But let me tell you this much: this is just not for me. It's just not. I'm just not really that into it. All right. I thought I would like it more, but what I doesn't grab you. I don't know. It feels like. Is there a plot as it? So yeah, to speak? there's a plot, and there's okay. like if you you make your own character, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you know, it feels like there's a lot of like strafing a thing that I have to kill, and then I have to kill like eight Tie Fighters, and then it goes to yeah, the right. next hyperspace point. People seem to be really digging it, including my brother, the one you don't like. So he would, wouldn't he? Don't take my word for it. He would. That's yeah, <laughs> something he's into. Oh my god! But you really can do is. like you can adjust shields. Ask tell tell the people what he texted you. He said, "Which ship do you like?" <laughs> And I said, I don't know, X-Wing. For people who don't know him, yeah, that is absolutely classic James's brother that I don't like. <laughs> and then he wrote, I'm surprised he didn't ask you to ask me what ship that I like yes. this game. And I'd be like, uh, James's brother who I don't like, I haven't played it yet. And he'd be like, okay, but in theory, but in theory like, which what's one it? would yeah. you like? Yeah. Uh, he wrote Y-Wing. And wing. the answer's the A-Wing, obviously. Yes. Uh, so he wrote favourite ship and I wrote X-Wing question mark and I said, I don't know, I'm not loving it. And then he wrote Y-Wing easily, but I didn't ask. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's classic your brother that I don't like, asking a question just so he can answer the that's question right. himself. He says, I love it, played it last night online and won, so I'm retiring. Uh, as champion, which is very my brother. Oh, did he play it online? Yeah, because I think yeah, and he got uh, one kill, and then he, that's my he bro- got one kill, and then he quit yeah. before anybody could kill him. <laughs> but that's my brother because I remember when we were kids, we'd like play like Goldeneye. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. like we were pretty evenly matched, but we do this thing like where he'd if he won the last one, he'd yeah, be reluctant yeah. to play again because because right. he, he didn't want to lose like being the champion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. But I I'm guess like, it's yeah, ongoing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, but whatever, doesn't matter yeah. to me. So yeah, if if you like the X Wing Tie Fighter games, which I did, you'll probably like it, but it might not be for me. I'm gonna st- I'm still gonna give it a go. Anything else? Uh look, I've been doing a lot of walking down to the post office. How's that uh, going? So I've been listening to a bunch of podcasts. I'm gonna give a shout out to our friends over at Two in the Think Tank. Oh, I love when, when, when I've got like when I've got like an hour, I'm like walking down or walking back. I'm like I love listening to Two in the Think Tank. And I just I listen to one of those the I, other day. Yeah, I I just uh, for people who don't know, every episode they they come up with five concepts for sketch or well, five sketch ideas. That's right. They they just they keep they keep talking and they and they just they just create some great ideas. And <laughs> I I look honestly, I listened to an episode recently and I'm like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard them say. Whoa. And I cannot remember which episode, oh. it is, but I'm just like that is that is some of, and they're funny guys. Yeah, they have a, it's they have all a great, funny. Yeah, a great um, comedy special you can download called Magma, uh, oh, yeah. which, which is very funny. I'm all, they're 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 funny like they're funny when you you listen to them. They're funny on on guesting on stuff. They're just funny when you chat to them. Yep, when they yep. don't have to be funny and, and nice. This, and whatever this thing was, it was a recent episode. I'm like, that's the funniest thing they've ever come up with. Oh so, my goodness! So track that down, I reckon. Uh, I also listened to the new Fleet Foxes album. And? my friend Claire, not your Claire, but a different Claire, recommended it. She doesn't listen to the podcast. I don't know why. How does she spell her name? The same as your Claire. Oh. Yeah, right? And last name? 
Yeah, same oh, same name. Shit. Claire Mister Sunday Movies <laughs> is her name. I don't, and I always assumed you stole the, the name, but I did actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I listened to your Fleet Foxes album. It's pretty good if you like the Fleet Foxes. I've never heard anything. Yeah, pretty, ever it's done. like a dreamy, folky music. I love dreams and folks. Right? Cool. Anything else you're listening to? Or should we do the letter segment of the show? Yeah, we should do that momentarily. But let me think. No, no, I haven't. I'm just I'm stalling. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine with me. Here we go. Now, here's time for letters. Here is time for letters. The classic one was letters, oh, letters. We love you. Some letters. They're only a day away. We're going to hear right now. We're going to do letters. Yes, well. <laughs> you right. son of a bitch. This is my segment. <laughs> <laughs> this is my segment. You've... <laughs> You've corrupted the segment. I have. The uh, purity of the letters segment, you son of a bitch. If you do want to reach the show, hashtag weeklyplanetpod on Twitter or weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. That's right. I've got so many letters this week. Cool. I've got two tweets. Oh, well. <laughs> I, guess that, I mean, I'm responsible for the letters segment, so I, I shouldn't put the lion's share of content. For That's this true. I just meant well, I didn't get that many tweets. Oh, okay, way. right. Uh, is, uh, this is a, a letter from Lawrence. Hello, Lawrence. Uh, the subject line is, I told a lie and now Nick is a trained killer. <laughs> I okay. uh, hope you are keeping well. I've been listening to the podcast for a long time since the start of the first lockdown. Mr. Sunday Movies YouTube content is about the only real media I've consumed. Uh, I've grown tired of trying to recommend the podcast to friends and family because nobody likes this sort of stuff. <laughs> However, my mate Jordan, who goes to the same jiu-jitsu and MMA gym as me, recently borrowed a bunch of comics off me because he wanted to start reading them. Okay, that's cool. I explained the podcast and told him about the start of comics episodes and Jordan thought it all sounded too nerdy. In the desperation of it all, I said that Nick Mason, the co-host, is a legitimate brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and my mate said he'd check the show out. That's some classic Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, that Joe Rogan guy. experience recommendations. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like what this guy's about. Yeah, but he can do a rear naked choke. Okay, then. And to be fair, you have done some jiu-jitsu. Yeah, for five minutes. Yeah, but you've done it. Yeah, no, that's true. Do you know any carters, or is that a different thing? That's a, a different thing, yes. Yeah, but do you know any? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> yes. Good. I'm always doing... Carters in front of a bloody like a like a pond or something. You know? Yeah, that's you. Like at the sunrise. Yeah, at the. That's a lie. I've never been up at sunrise. You'd do a sunset. Sure. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, thank you for getting. I'm not usually there. one to tell a lie, but I really wanted someone to check the show out for once. Well, thank you. And hopefully, if this person sticks around, they get to this point, and you've tricked them. You've tricked them, and, and then, they, then they'll be then a they beat you up. Off. They beat yeah. you up. They yeah. they they jujitsu you so hard. Next time you. Well, they come for you. Me? Yes. Me. Thinking you're a Brazilian Brazilian. No, but I'm jiu-jitsu. saying I'm not, though. Yeah, but they don't get to that episode yet, so oh, they just come no, for you. no, so they come to fight me. I've got to learn some more jiu-jitsu real quick. Correct. Um, anyway, uh, on, we appreciate you telling the lie, is what I'm saying. Yes. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go along with it, but if Meso could never confirm or deny whether he was a trained killer, that would be great. Happy to I'm do not that. saying I'm good at jiu-jitsu, but I'm not confirming or denying that I'm not a trained killer. I'm confirming not to, I'm, I'm – yeah. Nice. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, big love from the UK. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lawrence. Um, and anyway, if um, if everybody else could tell a big lie to get, to get us to listen to the podcast or watch the, watch the oh, videos. the big one. lie. We'd love to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I the gotta... biggest lie you've told. Yeah. <laughs> and don't make, that, make, don't make it up because we'll know. We'll know. We don't get meta with us. We know that's a big lie also. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it, right? It's from Kenston says. Oh, yes. Uh, how about movies that need prequels? Because yes. we've done <laughs> yes, that's movies right. that need sequels, Maybe. movies that should have stopped. I, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like, does any, does any movie really need a prequel? I don't know if I could. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if it's a it's good inter- movie, it's an interesting like idea yeah. to me. Well, but, it's like if a movie is good mm. and you and you come into it and you go, oh, I see how this like. Yeah, you know, you go a bad movie, and you're like, how, like we've talked about Bright fairly yeah. recently. We like, how did the world get to this point? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Mm. But if a world is like properly fully formed, and you go into it, and you're like, oh, I feel like this feels real. Yeah, you go, okay, well, maybe I'd like to hear about the before times. Sure, yeah. But do do I? But do I? Do, is it, isn't it going to be any good? Yeah, exactly. But uh, speak- also in that video we did recently, yes. um, I think we also didn't mention, or even in the show, that we don't like the movie Bright. So there are some comments that are like, but Bright sucks. We don't want Bright too. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. We don't like the movie Bright. That's, no, we love it. We love <laughs> we it. We do. Okay, canonically, at the podcast, we don't like the movie Bright. Yes. But on the YouTube channel, we love it. We it's love the movie, movie Bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want the movie too right. Too right. right. Too right. And the prequel. That's right. Mm. What's next, mate? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, speaking of uh, podcast ideas, I, I um, brought this one up because we should remember it for, for future times. Okay. This is from Carl. He says, hey, guys, you're friend. Thank you. Uh, me and my girlfriend love the podcast. Yeah. Uh, here are two ideas for podcast episodes. Number one, 
highest achieving bad actors or directors. Oh, I like that That's a lot. It's a good one, right? Right? Yeah. I mean, we do mention some high achieving bad directors. Certainly. And actors. But Sometimes we do a Transformer series on we them. We sure do. <laughs> uh, but also, number two, brilliant plots ruined by acting or scripts. Like just an idea, like a yeah. really where you go, oh, that's a good idea. Right. Oh, yeah, too right. <laughs> too right. I, I like that. Good ideas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm into it. Uh, often we also bring up things like this on the show so we remember them or people remind us down the line. So this is a good, this is kind of like, yeah, a, right? this is how we write notes. <laughs> that's exactly right. Essentially. Guys, you are our notes app. Yes. Every, we appreciate it. Yeah. I've got one here from I'm Nick ready. who says, I found I can't watch the boys in these uncertain times as it's too intense and I've been rewatching old favourites as an escape. Uh, speaking of boys episode next week because the show is wrapping up this week. You up yeah, to yeah. date? I'm one behind. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you guys been doing anything similar? Hashtag weekly planet pod. Um, I'm finding myself looking, except for the movie The Quick and the Dead, Yes. I'm mostly looking for new stuff or series that I've never seen. Yeah, same. Like I'm like, I should do Broadchurch or... I should finally watch The Wire. Yeah, I have a I have a big list of the of a. Uh, Where's Sin City Two on that list? It's not on the list. I'm not going to put it on the list. You, you know my you know my Sin City <laughs> Two policy. Uh, and you know what I've do, been doing recently is I've stopped listening to like in the car. I've stopped listening to commercial radio. I only listen to like public public radio. Oh, I've, I don't listen to radio oh. at all. Yeah, you listen to television. I listen to your television. Car? Yeah, I've got a my really God. long extension cord. But I've stopped listening to like gold hits. Yeah. And like Triple M Rock or whatever. Yeah. And I just listen to like public radio, which is like in Melbourne, like PBS and Triple R, which is like nerds who have like a very specific thing that they like. And it's like, it's the jazz hour. And they just talk about jazz or it's like the metal yeah. hour or whatever. And it's like, that's cool. Because I'm like, I don't want old, st- I want fresh new. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be like. And the best version of a thing. Yeah, I don't want to be like, oh, here's the hits. It's uh, okay, it's the 10 songs from the 70s you play, you know, every yeah. day kind of thing. I just want to be like. You don't like Credence Clearwater Revival? I mean, I do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. Okay. You don't like Bruce Springsteen? I like Bruce Spring. I love Bruce Springsteen, obviously, James. Everyone loves yeah. Bruce Springsteen. Uh, but Except I- if he gets political, which he's always been. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, so go yeah, on. Uh, but I'm just like, I want to listen to like. Hey, this is the latest, or this is like the best, the deepest cuts kind of thing. I'm like, who's got time for hot hits? You know, not I mean? me. That's right. I don't know what a hot hit is anymore. Uh. Lizzo. That's all I got. Okay, <laughs> it's a pretty hot hit. I also can't like really tell the difference between actual pop music and YouTubers who release a terrible song. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Every nearly every YouTuber song is total shit. There are exceptions, yep. but my god. My God, Mason. Good. Good for them, I say. Uh, not that I could. What am I talking about? Mm. Anyway, uh, what else, Mason? Mate, James, I've got so many emails. I'm just going to I'm gonna burn through these emails, James. Do it. Um, 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 um. This is from uh, Patrick R. Florentinus Ribeiro. Great, great He says, names. I will give you five Australian dollars if you manage to pronounce that without stuttering, and I think I did it. I agree. Also, he didn't say how many attempts I, uh, I oh, can take. So we're going to come back next week. Yeah, we'll do it every week until he gives us the money. <laughs> Anyway, Patrick says, um, Dutch Weekly Planet podcast ambassador here. Hi, James. Nick, big fan of the show. Have been listening for a few years now. Was doing a daily commute of 100 kilometers back and forth. And with the sheer amount of pre-COVID traffic, that meant I spent over three hours per day in traffic. I had plenty of time to listen to your nerdy ramblings and silly banter. I've grown quite fond of you, which is why I have nominated myself to be your Dutch Weekly Planet podcast ambassador, DWPPA. Love it. I have graciously accepted the offer and will send you my payment info and a follow-up email. Congratulations on the new baby, James and Claire. Keep up the good work and stay healthy. We will. Is he giving us money or are we giving him money? Well, I mean, because at the start he's giving us money, but yeah, now mean, are we pay- paying him the now. The payment for ambassadorship here, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a lot. It's, it's not even money. It's not even money. <laughs> it's goodwill from us. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Yuck. It's not even that good. That's right. It's, it's moderate like, will. It's reluctant. Yeah. Right. It's, Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, we uh, we all appreciate that five bucks. Yeah. Send it our way. Yeah. yeah. We want US. I think we should have an ambassador in every in every nation. I agree. What's he gonna? Are you, Patrick? Are you gonna? Are you out there? Mm. Are you out there, uh, yeah. Patrick? Are you, are you, are you um, like promoting the podcast? Is that what this ambassadorship is for? We should do this, right? Do you have like those? Do you have like one of those big tins of Dutch cookies? Yeah, right. And you present it to people as tradition in in yes. Holland, and, and they and they're like, Ooh, and they pop open that tin, and it makes that noise. Yeah, you know that noise. Yeah, I know. And then then it's, it's, a, it's a sewing kit. <laughs> Yeah, it's always a sewing kit, but in this instance, <laughs> it's a sewing kit and a, like a like an iPod yeah. that's playing our it's playing our podcast. Exactly, it's your phone, and then you Perfect. give them your phone. You know, what I think we should do. What's that? We should have a UN 
like, you know what I mean? Oh, and yeah, then bring yeah. everybody together at a big round table. Yeah, yeah. And we discuss what people have been doing to get this show out there in their own Perfect. countries. Perfect, I like it. Yeah, you know that sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got a few countries already, don't we? Well, you've got a lot from Trinidad, I'll tell you that much. They, they're going to, they're going to, people in Trinidad are going to have Crushing to fight over the their ambas- ambassadorship, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. else you got? I've got, I got so many, James. Okay. Uh, let's you have keep a saying look. that. Yeah, I know, and I'm getting to them, all right? God. We don't have to uh, do literally every piece of email in the mailbag, though. No, we don't, but I've got a bunch that I like. But we can, though. Yeah, no, we're going to do it. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, this is uh, from Kevin Larter. Hello, Kevin. Real life Angry Birds. Hey, James and Mesa, I was on Twitter this week and I came across a video of a very persistent bird attacking a kid on a scooter. Seen it. If so, I've also seen it. I did a re- little research only to discover this is a magpie and attacks like this are apparently quite common during the bird's nesting season in Australia. Do either of you have a harrowing story surviving a magpie attack? Of course we yep. both do. <laughs> a lot of people are like, what, are you going to put an ice cream bucket on your head? Some people do. Some people do. You see posties do it. You see people who put stickers on the back of their bike helmets that look like eyes so they yeah. don't attack because they That's only right. take you from behind. Yeah. I've been swooped as a kid like multiple times. Uh, yeah. It's frightening. Right now it's like it's still like – you know, it's still a little bit terrifying, but I, I will yeah. I will swat a magpie out of the air with a cricket bat, which is the most <laughs> distraught that you can do. I, uh, at a, uh, not a the current place that I live, but a different place, I got swooped by a magpie coming out of my house and it feels like, you, and I, I, you don't know it's a magpie initially. Because no, they come from behind. And I get, it was like being hit in the head with a brick. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, and then I touched my head and like I came away with a whole bunch of blood. Yeah, they like, claw you. Yeah, and then I looked up, and it's like in a like it's you could I see some trees moving, and it's just like it was just like settling in a tree. Yeah. So what I did is I got the hose with one of those spray gun <laughs> things, and I just sprayed it constantly until it left that tree and went to another tree, and then I just sprayed it. <laughs> like I spent the entire afternoon, and I just sprayed it like at a different tree until it just left the neighborhood. <laughs> I just kept following and spraying it, and it was how long, persistent. How long's your hose? Pretty long. I bought, I went to I went to Mitre Ten. I bought an extension. <laughs> I bought an extension for it. That's incredible. But yeah, you got to watch out for. I have to magpie. learn. Yeah. Like Indian miners swoop at the moment as well. There's literally one like at the front of our house and mm. it swoops. And, like I oh, will step out. An the Indian door. miner bird specifically, yes. not yes, a so. not a not a small child or a man that works in a mine. In but either. either. Yeah. But yeah, I step out my door and it literally like will swoop. Yeah. But they don't. Imagine really if hurt. it was one of those things that we said though. Yeah, I know. Right. I found this coal. Ah. <laughs> Office. No, thank you. Yeah. Mm. I got uh I got the touch. Yeah, and I got the power. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got a few more. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Uh uh this one is from Jesse. Says, "Yeah, it's an emotional email." Hey James and Meso, I'll try to keep it brief. It is quite long. Uh, for the past 18 months, I've been through a separation, married for seven years prior, a horrible battle with drug addiction. During the separation, my wife cheated on me. I got fired for drug use on the job. Uh but however, I've been sober for 14 months. That is a ride, man. I know. My wife and I have reconnected and are madly in love. I have a new job. And while I won't say it's all thanks to you guys, you did have a very solid influence. While I was in rehab, I accidentally downloaded the Weekly Planet podcast. (laughs) During your podcast, I didn't think about my situation at all. I couldn't think of anything while hearing you guys nonchalantly be yourselves and discuss pop culture. Every time I felt tempted to get high, I listened to one of your podcasts. You guys took away the temptations by being completely irrelevant in everything you say and do. (laughs) Well, if that's our superpower, I guess we'll take it. Uh, I don't know if, if I would have remained sober without the Weekly Planet podcast, but I know that in my most dangerous moments of addiction, I only had to spend 10 minutes listening to James and Meso about what talking about whatever and it was distracted enough that I overcame the temptation every single time. Thank you James and Meso. You guys have inadvertently helped me overcome my addictions. Now, I think we say this every time, but we know. Yeah, we know. No, <laughs> no, just, uh, and no. that's that's you doing that. Yeah, exactly. But we yeah. appreciate like we if if we You would have part, done it regardless. You would have done it regardless, but I but think But that's great news, Yeah, man. yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, I think you would have uh, done it on your own, but it's good. It was nice to be there. It was nice to contribute nice to in some there. small way. Uh, and there's a follow up email. Where is it? Oh, cool. There's one follow up email. Jesse says a lot of listeners have pointed out their respective countries since the onslaught of Trinidad listeners. Here we go. I am, I am in Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, can I be the official car detailer of the podcast? If oh. I ever get to Australia, I will detail yours and Mason's cars free of charge. If you could. Flames on the sides. Thank you very much. <laughs> Flames on the roof. Yeah. That's where I'm at. How, about this? How about this, James? Yeah. We get the hoods of yeah. the cars painted with each other's faces. <laughs> so then we know we're bros. We're car detailing bros. It. I'm all about that. Right? That's terrific stuff. Yeah. Uh, but seriously, also, great work. That's yeah. fucking awesome. The best work. I got, you, I, got one, I got one more email. Let's do more. it. I mean, I got a couple more, but I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more. We'll get to the rest next you don't week. Want to use all, you don't want to answer all eight emails we have in there. No, that's true. 
Actually, I'm gonna uh, this uh, this one. Uh, I got a couple more actually. This okay. is from Noah Fortner. Fell through a ceiling while listening to the podcast. Whoa, why? Uh, I don't know. He works for a heating and air business, and they were installing oh. air ducts. Um, so all the plaster ceilings were exposed, and when walking across the beams to grab a tool, my foot slipped, and seconds later, I found myself on the second floor. He was on the third floor. Well, that makes sense. That's right. Uh, thanks for making my week a little better. That is okay. Um. Yep, seems that way. Okay, good. Yeah. Because he didn't specify whether he was uh, horribly nope. injured. Pain. Yeah. Can I be the official the heating and air man of the podcast? Absolutely you can, and you can fix our air conditioning when you're down here. Also, get better at your job uh, because <laughs> we don't want you fixing nothing if you're falling through roofs, all right? Uh, that's a good point. That is a really good point. <laughs> no, good for you. And I'm now, glad James, here's what I'm thinking. We get nowhere alive. in. We get nowhere in. Yeah, yeah. And we get our faces painted on our respective <laughs> air, air conditioning units. All right, right. That would be good. You got air conditioning in your place? Yeah. It's well. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good, right? Okay, I got, I got, uh, here we go. Let's okay, do so it. This is Richard Yule. Hello, Richard. There's musicals and Corona. Uh, he says, been listening to you guys since my first year of uni and have recently lost Has he my- written a musical called My Corona? Is this what's happened here? No. Good. <laughs> Which means we can do it. Yes. I've uh, been listening to you guys since my first year of uni and recently lost my theatre job because of the pandemic. I studied drama and script writing at uni and this month finished my master's with your podcast as company for a lot of long night of essay writing. I've since had to move back home with my dad due to everything, but have spent my time re-watching your old videos, some of which remind me of James's love of musicals. I was wondering what films, comic books, video games you think could benefit from the musical adaptation. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, jeez. Anyway, love you guys. Always makes me laugh, and I'm yet to have a crash or accident because of you. Also, can I please the, be the official Jean Valjean of the podcast? That's from Les Miserables. Ooh, wow. That's from Les Miserables. The Book. saddest man in the world. Yeah. Les Miserables. <laughs> so sad. I seen it. It's good. Yeah. Uh, the new movie? Oh, I mean, yeah. the guy directed Cats, so people are like, was Les Miserables good? I think it mm. is. Jeez. I mean, I think anything is, uh, can be a musical. I think it's yeah. more about the story, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. write good music to it. That is probably true. <laughs> I would like to see like the Punisher in the style of like an old Italian opera. Oh, you know, yeah, that's like a good a, idea. Like a big epic one. I saw an Italian opera once. With the horned once. helmets. In, a, in Italian. I saw oh, an yes. Italian opera a few years uh-huh. ago. Awful. Went for a million years. I hated it. Hated okay, but it imagine this. Up. Big skull shirt. Machine gun, exactly. Yeah, that's cool, obviously. Yeah, yeah that's real sick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, what about that Spider-Man turn off the dark? I really wanted to see that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I really hope that. I mean, I guess, is there a bootleg? There's, there's, there's clips that are out there. Yeah, you can and get it. And they did they did it on a Tonight Show. They did a, uh, a like a yeah. bit, or like a, a section from yeah, it. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like the, the villains are different, but like, the, and a lot of people got injured. But there was a lot of like swinging about that is apparently yeah, quite yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. So, but yeah, um, let me think. Just do Spider Man, another Spider Man, <laughs> another Spider Man. Keep doing it. There was we a Superman one in the seventies as well. I'm pretty confident. Assume, yeah, I think there was. People have emailed in and mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Punisher. Punisher opera. Um, I'm going to say Blade 3. Yes, go the on. Music, the musical. Blade 3, the musical. Okay, cool. Yeah. But you also love like a TV show that does a musical episode, don't you? I do. I it's really do. your favorite do. thing. I guess, yeah. Inexplicably. I wonder if they did an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. musical episode. You should ask them. I should find out, shouldn't mm-hmm. I? Is that the show then? I think it is the show. If that's the show then. We've got to get into the bloody end of the show, mate. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, James. All right. All right. I think I watched a video on Bruce Willis this week. And about like the bad movies he makes? Yeah, about the or was about it. It was like a it was like a I think I was at Joe Blow movies and it was oh, like okay, WTF yeah. happened to Bruce Willis. Ah. And it was an interesting uh What did happen to? What did they determine? Uh I think he just Did they just go, he just makes bad movies? He now. just makes bad movies. But I I remember saying that because I think they several weeks prior to us made the same uh idea of like his life as a performance. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, God yeah, damn yeah, it. yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Fine, so, fine. Did someone send it to you and be like, you idiot? No, I found, uh, yeah, what? W2F happened to Bruce Willis. Okay, cool. Couple of videos. I watched that. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good video. Great stuff. Anyway, that that is the show. That is the show. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for listening. And, and, uh, and Ended up being a longer one, mate. Oh, thought it'd be a short one. Yeah, there well, we there's, go. there's some content up your tailpipe. You what know do you what think I mean? Of that? Yeah. Mm. That's right. Um, thank you, everybody, for listening and, and telling a friend and lying to a friend to get them to listen, obviously. We love it. And obviously, emailing in to let us know if, in fact, you are you want to be part of the uh, podcasting UN. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And when and when obviously the the, the, the crisis passes, we're we we'll get everybody together. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, you, you could be, it'll be like that episode. I of, mean, I'm hanging out with everybody anyway. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be like that um, the Batman 1966 movie where we're all at the table shouting at each other. Yeah. And then you all get dehydrated. That's right. And we yeah. we we pack up your dust, your dusty yeah. selves. We eat it, make <laughs> it into a pie. 
<laughs> yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yummy listeners. What next? Uh, everybody, if you'd like, uh, thank you for supporting the show and telling a yeah. friend and uh, and leaving a nice review of James if you have You know nice it. Review. Got a couple here. This is from a real person, but it's backwards. Ooh. It's simply fantastic. It's simply fantastic. And then we've got one here that says, nothing bad will ever happen. Uh, I listen to the pod every week, quite often on my commute. I've never wrecked my car. I had anything bad happen while listening. Uh, this just proves that nothing bad will ever happen while listening. Five Ooh. stars. Cheers, Justin from Kansas. P.S. If I die while listening, I've told my wife to change my review to one star. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, really appreciate that. Uh, reviews really help the show. Helps that us very, probably move true. up in the ranks and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you'd like to get in contact to do any of those things that we said earlier. Or hang out with Mesa. That I've already forgotten. Uh, yeah. You can go to weeklyplanetpod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You're going to have a good hot time. You can have a good hot exactly, you precisely. You can have a good hot time. Uh, you can go to planetbroadcasting.com. You can look at all the podcasts. That's right. Planet, Planet Broadcasting Network, including two in the Think Tank, which yeah, is a podcast I'm on there, very, mate. Very, very much enjoy. You can uh, sign up to the newsletter from the great Rob Collings. He's at Raw Collings and he's at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. He's I'm is. at uh, Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm Nick Maso, N I C K M A S. E-A-U, uh, James, you're Mr. Sunday Movies, movies everywhere. everywhere. Uh, you go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group if you want to have some good yeah, fun times. If you want to get in there and determine who, in fact, is part of the Podcasting UN, if you want to do it in advance, yeah, that would be great. That would be really somehow. good. Or if you just want to have some cool pop culture conversations. Yeah, that's fine too. That's fine too. That's fine too. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies if you'd like to chuck in a buck. That's bloody, right. We'd bloody love it. Get some early stuff uh, there. You can also go to the Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Click on through. Uh, clicky, click, clicky, click, 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 clackety clock. Exactly. You want to buy some stuff for your house? Or Do yourself. You? I don't know. That's fine too. We don't mind. Uh, or you can sign up to bigsandwich.co. Get all kinds of new podcasts and new stuff. That's where it's We're at. We're loving it. We're having a grand time. We're having a grand time. Sandwich. It's We're, getting pretty loosey goose. I tell it's you that. It's getting out there, mate. It's getting out there. If you want to watch me slowly broken down from clickbait articles, mate, <laughs> you're going to love it. You are going to love it. Yeah. Got some coming up where I just, I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, you've had enough. You've if shattered I, we me. We might have to change the format. Get in quick because we won't have to change the format because James is jacking It's us. literally killing me. He's, he's, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, uh, you can do that. That's pretty good. Thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. Just checking for more news. I think we're pretty we're pretty in the clear, Mason. You can buy some T-shirts on tpublic.com. That's right. Yeah. Uh, next our friend week, over at Weekly oh, Planet Posters. Oh, yeah. It is 200, 200 poster. poster. Yeah. So congratulations over there. That was very exciting. That's right. Yes. I think he's got a new tea out as well. Uh, the other thing is the boys next week, T as in T-shirt. Maybe. Yes, I was for a moment I'm think, like, ooh, ginseng. That's right. But he, uh, but it was, he, well, yeah, he does great work. But also next week is the boys. So finish up the boys if you want to. the boys. I know what's going on with the boys. That's right. And then who knows what's after that. We just don't know anymore. Maybe Do you the like boys these again. all news episodes? Maybe the boys again. Yeah, maybe the boys again. Do people like the, all these news episodes? Because I quite like them, to be honest. I like them too. But uh, but it's really up to you. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. What about an all mailbag episode? I'd do that. Clear out the mailbag. Just, just go through it, mate. Yeah. You're going to get. Like, it's okay. Tweet us. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Uh, well, it won't be next week, will it? And Weekly Planet Pod at gmail.com. But we'll try and do it. That's right. At some point. Oh. Cool. For a week. Thanks, guys. See you uh, next week. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you real soon. Goodbye. It's uh, podcasting, doing a podcast. I've got to put mean? in the end sting, I forgot. The end sting in. End sting. You've been stung by a bee? No. Yeah, so not. I don't know if I'm allergic to bees. You've never stings. been stung by a bee? No. Well, maybe Man. I have. Because occasionally I'm like, ow. Yeah, but you got, would you get, what is the, this? get the sting out? No. And you hold up a bee? What is you this? You think I might have a bee sting in me right now? No, you'd probably get ago. that by now. But yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. can't like squeeze it out. You can like flick it out. Oh, uh, last time I got stung, I was at the beach and I was playing cricket. And um, there was a bee on the sand, and I went, I'm not going to bury that bee. I'm just going to let it be, like the song. Yeah, nice. And uh, I stepped on it, and it uh-huh. accidentally, and it uh, stung the bottom of my foot, and it swelled up, and I couldn't walk for like three days. Huh. So it was really inconvenient. Mm. And it's really itchy, like after, like, you know, the yeah, pain yeah, doesn't yeah. last that long, yeah. but then it gets really itchy. And I hear in rare cases, mm. your hair can grow all grey. What? Yeah, 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 if you get stung <laughs> by a bee, and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I grow If, all- if your genetics are real weak. <laughs> Your hair will go all grey. Can I grow a cool ponytail though? Cool grey, grey guy ponytail. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just re- put a lot of tension into it. Really tie it back. <laughs> like it's really just really just your, pull it at the your forehead's really just pulling your, at the roots. Your you know? paws are just hating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> that what you good. want to do. Yeah, yeah. That's big summer style for James, I reckon. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, grab that, Jimmy. Guys, we'll see you real soon. Goodbye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want, it's up to you.